and I get a Manny Fresh beat though, I took all the way back to school. Now you can't, you can't get, that's mixtape. You gotta go back to, you gotta pass this test. What it should be. This is your boy N O R E. What up? It's DJ E F N. And it's motherfucking drink chest, motherfucking yappy hour. Make some noise! And right now, I know, I know the brother's very humble, but I'm gonna awesome. say this. I'm gonna say this. When we talk about the best rappers alive mm. right now, this man is at this table. When you talk about the longevity and richness of a career, when you talk about this man's been rhyming since he was eight years old, Woo. been doing it since 12 and, and 14, and he's still out here relevant. So he has a whole generation that looks like him. <laughs> they follow him. He it's has a religion. Son. It's a religion. It's when a religion. It comes Father's Day, Father's Day, I know you better have 37 <laughs> generation followed him. He has been an originator. He has also the, not only that, not only for himself, but he's held down a, a, a whole label. Then, had a whole career. I feel like he's like the hip-hop Michael Jackson. Stop mm. it. Like, I mean, no, I'm like, I'm in the most respectful way. Like, you know, yeah. Michael had three different careers. Like, a child star, yeah. then a middle star, yeah. then a, a grown man star. I feel like this is hip-hop. So that we gotta makes a lot of motherfuckers. In time. case you don't know who the fuck I'm talking about, by the way, went platinum in a week twice Whew. on Nick. Like the first time, first thing I know that went platinum in a week. <laughs> Holy moly, come like on! And represents for hip hop. In case you hold on, because I got so much accolades, I'm gonna keep telling them. This is one of the most genuine people I ever met. If Wayne tell you he's gonna do something, he's gonna do it. Mm. And he's always had. And I just wanna big him up to his face. Make some goddamn motherfucking noise. A little off your name. I think you're just OG Wayne at this point. I appreciate it. Oh, 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 oh. Can I roll with that for now? Man, you, you know, OG Wayne? You, know, you call me whatever, man. You know you're OG Wayne. <laughs> yeah, OG Wayne. We call you OG Wayne. Yo, but do you realize, like, a, 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 a whole generation you influenced? Like, like I, I, yeah, I realize it. God damn it, make some noise. <laughs> So many kids that look like you, like the, like I mean, I, I feel like you was like the first like rock star, like embrace it. Like other people were considered rock stars, but I feel like you was like the first person to embrace that. I damn sure went after it. Mm -hmm. I damn sure mm -hmm. went after that title right mm -hmm. there. I damn sure said more to to myself at a, that was a point in my when I'm in my room by myself. Mm -hmm. Meaning that was a point where I had to tell myself like it was time to stop. Mm -hmm. You know, time to stop saying you look like one or stop trying to make songs that sound like it. Just go for it. Go for Nothing to, like so no picked, ceiling on yeah, what she was doing. Yeah, picked up a guitar. Right. When I hollered at Miss Betty White. Shout out Miss uh -huh. Betty. Oh yeah. But yeah, shout out Miss Betty White. Shout out Miss Betty and mm. hollered at her. She gave me a few vocal lessons. Wow. And she's the one who actually taught me a few the strings. She that, taught me that's how to love. That's what how to love. Yeah. Came she taught me a few strings on it, and she actually taught me for um, what song it was it, for the uh, for me like like called the like summer song was that. My leather so soft. Mm. Leather so soft. She mm. taught me the strings to that one. I felt like after like Andre 3000 did Hey Y'all, I felt like, was that like a direct inspiration for you? I, I definitely looked at Andre and what he did and stuff, but you know, Dre went all the way there. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what I, I always kept it to me, I always wanted to say, you know, it was, it was impossible for me to go all the way somewhere when I am who I am. Mm -hmm. And so all I wanted to do was make sure I go there and I go there. I mean, I bring Lil Wayne to Whatever that. Whatever you were comfortable that, Yeah, I'm not mm -hmm. gonna, I ain't about to go there and become such and such. You know, yeah. I'm gonna just bring Yourself. Lil Wayne over to your world, right. take over for a little minute, you know, do what I do for a second, right. end up all on the Country Music Awards with Kid Rock with a guitar in my hand singing Sweet Home Alabama. That's all I'm saying. I made it. Yeah. I'm good after that. Now is it true you 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 put you spit all your rhymes in a book and then you 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 set them all and then say you're never gonna write a rhyme again? Yeah. What what when did you, when did that happen? Oh man, that was a long time ago, man. That was uh I put out a mixtape, it was called Ten Thousand Bars. And that was that was the that was I am that was my last time I've ever written and wrapped off of anything written. You could hear the papers flinging during the um, in the session and, when yeah, you spitting. You I did it with a real. This was a long time ago. So I did I did a mixtape with a real DJ. Thank you, brother. I did it with a real DJ. So meaning he we was in his.
his basement. And so you could just see him through his glass. And so he would just put the, like, let show me what record is next. He about right. to start spending here. Give me a little. Oh, so he was cutting it live, like, throwing it in? Give me a little, you know, give me, so before he start putting it in, you know, and I already know the song because he showed me the I know the tempo was coming up next. I already had a paper ready. I see, Get rid of it. What's that? Once I got tired, we stopped, so now we get a, a good package of what we're gonna do next. Five good, five good beats we're gonna do next, and let's get it. That's how we did it. That was the last time I ever. And he, uh, to this day, I think, I don't know if he's still in that crib, but I know for a fact, as I seen him years past, he was like, man, I left all that still on my floor in the basement, man, up to in the room, man. It's like still oh, on my floor. That's the history. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's yeah. Yeah. Somebody gonna go buy that house yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> So how do you like remember your rhymes? Because like we smoke weed. I, I, ever since I knew you, we've been yes, smoking weed. Yes. And um, so how do you like? Because you know you you say some important bars. Like I thought you was like a, a philosopher. Like, I thought you went to Thank scientists you. at one Thank point. Because the way you put syllables together. But yeah. how do you, you do? You ever forget that shit? Um, I forget a lot. <laughs> but it's only, it's only yeah it's only yeah. forgotten when it's uh, time to perform it. Right. Yeah. When it's time. If you ask me what I said and we in the conversation, you ask me what I said. It's right off back I know exactly what I mm. said It's unforgettable right. Because also With that said All we do is smoke But all I also do Is work mm. and It's all I do So it's like asking me What I wore yesterday mm. Right Yeah Now Now the Packers Today wasn't good <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But, okay, but you, yeah. you're a sports fan, it's and then, you know, okay, yeah. we're I was fans. Two, two seconds away from throwing, putting that drain over there. Just, oh. just going, just going there, just drinking that drain over and taking it there, man. Now, just, now when, when a loss like that happens, do you blame like the Packers or do you blame that it was a great team? Oh no, they played a great team. Yeah, they, they did. played a great team. But I also think that uh, with that said, we're gonna have a wonderful Super Bowl. Mm. I think we have, yeah, Mahomes against that. You know, of course, the NFL mm. and State Farm. Everybody would love to see Mahomes against Rodgers in the Super Bowl. Right. <laughs> oh, that's right. They both came from. Oh, shit. I didn't even put that together. Everybody would have loved that, but... Mm. It's gonna be a dope Super Bowl. And there's Super Bowls out here, so I'm yeah. in Miami. Yeah, I love yeah. You ever know, it's Super Bowl 54, you know, they do the Roman numerals thing. Uh-huh. So right now, actually, it looks like it's, like it says Super Bowl Live, because it's Super Bowl <laughs> L I V. And so, oh, you know, so shout I'm like, out to headline shout group. out, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> man. Phil, what, up? what up? I'm like, man, that's right there. It's, it's just meant for it. So, yeah. Now, let's talk about that for a second. At one point, if a rapper wanted to see Lil Wayne, it was, uh, they, just, they were really gonna live on Sunday, and they could probably get a meeting yeah. with like, yeah. and, and, and you. Like, meeting with him? Like, like, I mean, like, you know, he's a good guy. Like, I'm just saying, like, yeah, I'm, not a, I'm not gonna. <laughs> like, listen, yeah. listen, listen, I'm gonna be honest. At one point, they used to have little, they used to be like this little Wayne couch. Like, whether he was there or not, right. maybe you couldn't sit on the Did you know that? I didn't. You, you know that. Let's make some noise. They, they used to hold you down whether you was there or not. Like uh, then they let little twist or somebody like, like come over yeah. there, but it's only be your people. And yeah. I, I, I really yeah, respected Mac that. Like yeah. I would be no Mac would be on the U on the road or somewhere, yeah. but like you know what I'm saying? Oh, like well, I, I, I always um yeah, respect. No, right but but how did how did you cause you know coming from New Orleans, mm-hmm. right? Um obviously was it uh, Katrina that made you say full time in Miami? Nah, what happened was this was way before Katrina, man. Mm-hmm. I think I was I was at least I was uh, I think I was at least nineteen. 20. Mm. We came out here to shoot a video called Shine. Mm. Mm-hmm. And it was Cash Money Days. Mm-hmm. And we came out and we was on ATVs on the mm-hmm. video, mm-hmm. riding up the beach. Mm-hmm. I had never experienced that Whack. in my life. Whack. I have never said, never seen nothing like that. Mm-hmm. I, had, I never left Miami since that weekend. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and when y'all first came out here, was it Circle House that you guys was using, or y'all went straight? Yeah, Circle, Circle House. Yeah. Circle House. Yeah, yeah. Was Circle House. Yeah, it was in Circle House. Do, do y'all feel like that 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 kind of like changed the the Cash Money sound because it was like something the, different? Different. Yeah, yeah, because when we was in New Orleans, our sessions would be what the conversations was from everybody's day. Everybody lived in a different part of New Orleans, and I was the only one that was actually in school. And so everybody's conversation when we got to the studio that night was a totally different conversation. Mm-hmm. You got Turk. Turk got this conversation. He's a, he's probably like two years older than me. So he's talking about whatever guys two years older than me talk mm-hmm. about. Mm-hmm. They waiting. Everybody in there waiting to hear what Juvie going to talk about, though, because Juvie coming with those project stories. Mm-hmm. Something happened in the project every day. Mm-hmm. Stunned up, you sitting there listening and be like, what? That nigga did what? Right? Yeah, Your whole that nigga did what? Say that again. That's a song. And that's how it happened every time. So once we 
got to Miami. Ain't no more projects. Everybody moved to Miami or just you? Yeah, baby used to always move. Not, I moved here on, on my own. Moved right. to, to stay here, but we recorded out here all the time. Yeah. And baby always ran, he you know, it was his thing. Everybody gotta go. I don't mm. care if, if he went to you know I mean if he went to jail, everybody gotta go to jail. Right. You know I mean? Everybody <laughs> just gotta go with baby. Mm-hmm. So we was all out here. So what I mean, mean by that that did change the landscape of the of the music because there isn't no more project stories and we ain't, we right. gotta I mean, we waking up on the beach every day, so that's when you got songs like Back That Ass Up and shit like that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Well, Back That Ass Up was made in Miami? That makes sense. I mean, you know what I mean? It was yeah. definitely influenced. Mm. Yeah. That makes sense. Now, what, when did you develop, like, the skating? Skating, I've probably been skating now for probably at least ten, at least ten years now. So I was just watching this this damn TV show every day, and they had a little homie on there skating. And the homie was like he was having the time of his damn life, mm. and I was like, you know what? I want to have that same time of my damn life too. So right. why not? And I had a big ass roof um, at the crib I was standing at the time. Right. So I called the homie and was like, Yo, can, I, can you make a skate park on my roof? And he was like, well, this here in Miami because I heard you had a yeah, you had yeah, a half one, pipe. And, and Hit Factory as well, right? Uh, that was on Shout Out Bob, man. That was the dude, the, the man, the man that runs, the, that owns the Hit Factory. That was all on him, man. I ain't never asked that man to put no skate park. Uh, <laughs> he put he, he did all that. Ramps and everything. Oh, that was the room. I just rolled with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, I just rolled with it. Yeah, yeah, dog. That's my man. I'm that's forever loyal to him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. forever loyal to him. So, like I said, I told my homie, can he build a park on the on the roof? He built a ramp. That's what I asked him to build because I didn't know what the hell. I took my. I thought that's what skating was. But when I hear a ramp on the roof, it sounds very dangerous. Yeah, skating. Oh, Dangerous regardless, so, yeah, so, dangerous regardless Yeah It's dangerous Yeah He would come there And teach me how to skate Every day before I even Before he, before we start doing anything right. though Before that session start Every day Made me pad up every Everywhere Put on all pads And stand in 25 Different positions What I mean by Different positions Meaning Do that Do this Do that and It's like I mean, training Like for any sport 25 yeah. different well, On the skateboard Or off the skateboard yes, On the skateboard Okay Stand right. on the top of the ramp Every position Push me And make push me off the ramp And to the ramp to fall And so I fall 25 different ways He always would tell me Listen by the end of this How stuff, to man, fall By the end of this stuff I'm going to be able to push you Over a thousand ways I just want you to know When you do fall on your skateboard You're not going to fall Not one of these ways Right I'm just going to teach you How to fall Before I teach you how yeah. to skate yeah. Wow. Very dangerous. Some Mr. Miyagi yeah. shit right there. Make some noise for that. Yeah. Shout out Jay. Shout out Jay. Now, I done had three surgeries already, man. I'm, I'm from skating. I'm gonna tell you yeah. something, Wayne. I believe it. I've been doing this for four years, right? Four years, right? We've been doing. We've this? celebrated four years in March. In March, we'll be celebrating four Official years. We've four been doing years. this, right? Yeah. Right. Just so you know, we did it like a couple of just, 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 just so you know. Uh-huh. Without me saying, uh-huh. Mac, he on every night. Am I lying? In, uh, <laughs> yeah, am I yeah, lying, yeah. Mac? Every night. Come you on, goddamn it! Every night. Every night. So I just want to let you know something. When I do these interviews, I usually go to Twitter and I say, "Yo, uh, I got Wayne, or I got Fab, or I got Fifty Cent, or I got Baby, or I got whatever." And then I, that's, I do that on the, the tweets. Okay. Then I go to my personal industry, and I send them pretty much the same message. Uh-huh. I have never got so many people who have so many beautiful stories to wow. say about, about you, my nigga. Like, you are really a legend. Because a lot of niggas are goats. But yes, a lot a of lot. niggas ain't goats to their own peers. Right. You are goat to your own goddamn motherfucking peers. And for that... I want to salute you to your face because so many people want to tell people how much a person is great when I want to tell you, yo, listen to me. I've done this for, four, like I said, four years and people, when I said I got Wayne, you everyone. You talking about this show. This show? Yeah, I said, yeah, I I know, know, yeah. Listen, so I'm going to say a question. Just that, so you know my so, first car, nigga. I was banging that shit. Nigga, <laughs> my first I'm, Lexus I'm, cool. I'm, you I'm trapped, you know nigga. Where this question came from. No, I mean, niggas on the run eating, nigga. Okay, I'm going to see you in the <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me I'm gonna go around the place. Okay, let's go. Let's give it away. Let me not start with that one. Okay, okay. He tried to sign Young Money, offered the masters, but he wanted money. He's gonna claim it was a hundred thousand, but that's not true. But it certainly wasn't two million. 
<laughs> Say it again. That's the question. That's the question. Say it again. Okay. okay. I'm, t- I'm trying to see if you know no, who this is coming gotcha. from. Gotcha. Say it again. He tried to sign Young Money early, mm-hmm. offered him the masters, but he wanted the money though. He gonna claim that it was 100k, but it's not true. But it certainly wasn't the two million that you was asking for. You ain't talking about. You ain't talking about my man. His own. Man. First of all, first of all, like you said, I can't, I, I, like you said about me, all of us, I appreciate every single word you said, by right. the way. Right. Uh, we can't, I can't let another single word go without saying how genuine and how much of a, how much of a man that guy is. Right. Yeah, that's a real man right there. That's a that's real, a real, real the, man right there. I'm going yeah. I'm, 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 to say, because this next one that he said was very, very complimentary, so I'm going to hold this one for okay. later, but, so how was it meeting with him and he tried to sign Young Money, like... It was a first of all, it was a privilege, more than a privilege. I think he already knew, you know what I mean. But this is early on, Young Money, like nah. this is pre-universal. Nah, this was this was when I was going through a whole bunch of things. Oh, okay. oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay, yeah. So, the, you so you're trying to sign you and Young Money? Yeah, okay. now you're trying. So when you were doing the mixtapes already, yeah, so already what, yeah. What he was doing was he just trying to help in wow. any form and fashion. Wow. So you know, if I gotta sign your mom, man, whatever I gotta <laughs> do to help you out in when your situation you're going through right now. Uh, it's like I know it's embarrassing. Right. You know what I mean? It's like your shit. They got shit all public. This shit. I, like what I what I want to do is make sure you straight as a man. Mm. You know what I mean? Make sure your personal thing. Like the rap shit. You gonna always be good with that. You gonna take you, your eyes right. closed. You got that. It's like you you got that. I just wanna make sure you good. Your family, your parents. And all that. You, That's you, crazy. Like I know you got kids. Mm-hmm. I wanna make sure they they eating and all yeah. the stuff everybody here and out here. I wanna make sure it doesn't affect them. Mm-hmm. That's what I mean. He's a real. That's, genuine guy so mm-hmm. the numbers and all that that that's why he said the numbers and all that he threw out it was, he, he had he had no there was no no limit to his numbers right, right. when it came to what you need for right. real for real what right. you really need right. yeah so that right there that man yeah wow. he, he also said I'm just saying while, while I'm on this he said that he heard you rhyme on show me what you got home I'm on, let me yeah. just quote, I don't want to yeah, misquote this know this <laughs> don't, don't misquote it I don't want to I got shit in my hand he said when he rapped on Show Me What You Got, I had to take a long w- walk and look at myself in the mirror. And I said, are you sure you still got this? <laughs> Do you know what kind of compliment that is? Like? Wait, so I need to understand, because I, tr- I tried to let's Google be clear, it. Let's be clear who you're you talking about. Let's talk about Jay-Z, bro. <laughs> So, hold on. Let's just this is establish what he said. I know you get it, but I just want to make sure. This is from him. He said that, okay, so now, as we driving here, we tried to Google show me what you got. So you freestyled on his shit. So, okay, that's where we couldn't find it. Because we got to find this. Yeah. So did he ever tell you this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. uh, he didn't say that part. Yeah, about that. What about did he the, say? He just let me know, like, you know, boy, you coming for me, boy. Right. Yeah. Like, oh. Okay. I'm like, you know, just a privilege, man. I just, like, I can't get on there and play with it, man. How the fuck they, neither one of them never said nothing about this story in you know, all these years. Yo, yeah. that's crazy. Did I break the exclusive? Yeah, I know. God Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you, you don't need, you don't usually get goats to say that. Someone, like, someone else scared me for a moment. And not only scared me, but telling you the exact moment. Like, he yeah. was proud to say to me, like, yeah. yo, I had to think about it. Like, yeah. you know, show me what you got. So what did you do to this record? I just did what I do. Mm. <laughs> Okay. I don't know. Like a face, man. Yeah. Like a face, man. Oh, man. I'm so hyped right now, Wayne. I'm just telling you. You don't even understand. You don't even understand. You just told me that story, bro. I'm about to walk out here and act like the Packers won, boy. <laughs> <laughs> But we didn't get you on the roll. Let's stay with Jay because we do want to get your choice on the Super Bowl. Who who you picking? But so 
you are at the you are you are you are at the, like the quadruple of your career, which meaning like you had a child. Yes, I did. Boom, you had a child like career, like a Michael Jackson, our version of Michael Jackson. Gotcha. Let me claim you, gotcha. right? <laughs> boom. Then you had like a like a team, right? Boom. Then you had like a Cash Money, and I gotta tell you, the man, group thing. At, at one Just time like Mike, the, group the group thing with the hot boys yeah. and everything. Yeah. But I gotta tell you, boy, at one point, everyone left Cash Money. Oh man. I'm not gonna lie, you know, I, I've always, like, you know, between the, my New Orleans, y'all niggas is my New Orleans. Niggas. I already know. And I was looking like, I thought it was over. I, yeah. I can't lie. Yeah. And then it was like something called mixtape Weezy. Yeah. I told and him I was gonna hold it. I didn't know, you went from like MVP, you had like everything. And then that's a, another question Hov asked about your features. Features. What was it like? Because I, right, there's a time Turk had left. Yeah. BG had left. Um, everyone was pretty much gone. It was pretty much just you and, and yep. Stunner. Yep. And Juvia left too. Did you? Well, you Juvia left first, in yeah, my opinion. Yeah, yeah, in my opinion. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> left first, in my opinion. I could be wrong. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and now it's so you left. You know, but you're, you're the youngest yeah. at the time. Which, which played a big role in why I stayed. Right. Yeah, mm. played a big, big role. So how, how did you develop, like, I'm going to just, was it was it the features first, or was it like, you know, let me put the label on the back? The features thing, man, the features thing, plain and simple, is goes back to you uh, mm -hmm. very, very authentically ex explaining about how I am. Mm -hmm. The yeah. features are just plain and simple. I'm not, I don't say no, mm -hmm. you know, and so I think that it, it became a thing, you know, like, man, send it to him. And also, with that said, I'm going, they know, you know, you know whoever sent it, I'm going to go with my hardest on it. Right, right. I ain't going to give you no, no, you know what I mean, some verse I had in the closet. Right. I'm going to make it like it was my big, my single. Mm -hmm. You know, what that said, that got around, that, you know, the homie, homie don't say no. He got, he ain't got no he colorblind, so, and he going to kill in it. in the studio all the time. Yeah, he, exactly, <laughs> and he going to kill it. He in there. Right. Yeah, I mean, you ain't got to worry about waiting to send it to him. He probably sent it right back to us uh -huh. so that got out that, mm -hmm. that that was my formula right and so it ended up being i think uh i think it ended up being like 77 features or something yeah, one I, year. Front, I front, me and pun had a record at once like a, like the most features and then when wayne like crushed our shit like one summer i was Easy. just like one summer Easy. he just did his record i was like I'm not, I'm not putting my feature my name in the feature category <laughs> yeah, anymore crazy, like, right? like, like one summer like you really did <laughs> but what what was it ever doubt at that time because you're seeing all your peers like at the end of the day you know Slim and Birdman are still the CEOs although they're your peers too yeah. so they're the business guys and yeah. when you see an artist like that was there like ever a doubt like why would I stand there and, and or nah, it was like let me put it on my, on my back because this can this cannot work let's just see exactly, just, exactly. You know, that, was, that was never a moment because mm -hmm. of the confidence mm -hmm. I, yeah I've already I was instilled my mm -hmm. mom my mom instilled into you know nobody can't tell you nothing you can do whatever the hell you want to do. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, and nothing can stop you. Mm -hmm. My mom was one of the, is one of those people, and, you mm -hmm. know. So I did take it upon myself to just, you know, man, don't worry, don't mm -hmm. worry, no worries, you know. And also, I look again the youngest. Mm -hmm. right. So, like I said, me being the youngest played a big, big role. So mm -hmm. what, what I mean by that, it affect. I mean the effects that it had, and I was waiting for my turn. Right. You know, and this was your turn. Yeah, I didn't want everybody to go. Right. I was still, I would love for my turn to be while everybody was, but shit. If that was how I got my turn, and this time. is my turn. Yeah, this is my turn. That also, what that means is my my the my my um, immaturity as far as age right. had too much. I didn't have any worries about the business side of it right. like that. I wasn't right. really worrying about what I'm not getting, what I'm supposed to it be was getting. Just the music, Things like the music, man. These guys are, are, are giving me the time to do my dream, chase my dream. I don't have to go to school. Right. I don't have to do what my friends doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, then when I do go to school, I, I'm 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 the, I'm the talk of the class. I'm in. I was on TV and this that. And, and that was enough. For you. Yeah, that was enough for me. For as a, I was 15. And, and whose idea was it to do the, go the mixtape route and do all the mixtapes for that? Uh, that was me. Mm. That was just me, plain and simple. That was me. You know what that was, bro? Let me explain what that is. That the mixtapes came from. And he can tell you Because you changed and, the landscape yeah, of mixtapes by yourself. He can tell you yep. when I explain how they came In New Orleans, he knew us In New mm -hmm. Orleans, we had a way of, of rap 
we had a way of rapping, and still to this day, you know, they got bounce music, but it they wasn't bounce. I'm talking about just rap. Right. We had a way of rapping, meaning we talk about a certain thing, we say it in a certain way, we use certain slangs right. to also to almost where it was like a how the Cali and how the East Coast West Coast thing they had they West Coast had their thing, and it's almost kind of it was forbidden for them to say son, a kid, or something right. like that. Right. 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 Yeah, something like that. Yeah. At that, so that's why at that time, I, he can tell you I was a Nori fan, I was a J fan, I was. Baby, ain't know who them people were. <laughs> so you wanted to mix all that up. So I wanted, I wanted to get when it, in school when I'm with my homies and we in the circle and right. everybody wants somebody want to hear Lil Wayne rap. Right. I'm coming with that uh, check. You know what I mean? When it's baby, it was like school. When it's when I get to the studio and baby and them want to hear what, what you got, it's about to be that head bust off top. Grab the chop and chop. You know what I mean? At the top is my spot, bling bling. You know, you know what I mean? It's about to be whoa day. I got 20 inch rims on my, right. but at school. Ooh, I'm about to look, son. I'm a little kid, you know what I mean? Oh. And that's what. So now I had an outlet to do it. But you could do all this on this, and you could put it out. We could, you could just put it out on the CD and give them out and see what it do. And baby, at first when it happened, now you, you even look at paid it. For, you, for the mixtapes, right? I've never just, been paid for a mixtape. Wow. I refuse. You hear this, you fucking new artist? Yeah, I wait, wait, say this again. You have never been paid for. A I've never been paid for none of my mixtapes. I've never. <laughs> No, it's just it's, it's me. Just like I said, that's what it's always been an outlet for me to get right. the, the music I want. This, you know what I mean? Aside that was your freedom. The mixtape yeah. was your freedom. And and being the hot boys was perfect. Right. You know I mean? It was just it was, I looked at it as that's school, man. That's, I'm about that's a test. I'm about to go past this damn test when I get to that studio. Right. My verse gonna be the hardest. That was always about who you want to go first. Mm. That was the thing. Who baby about to say, yo, you gonna start the song off first? That always let us know that he liked your verse the most. Mm. You know what I mean? So you go back and listen to him. I start off a lot of them songs. You, 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 <laughs> I started off a lot of them, so that means he liked my verse a lot. You realize the love that the industry has for you, or you, you try not to pay attention to Oh, I definitely realize. I want to say, uh, when you said earlier about uh, I influenced a, yeah. a generation, and had, I want to say the reason why I recognize when you asked me that I realized mm-hmm. that, and I said yes, mm-hmm. I want to elaborate on it. The only reason why I realize it is because they make me realize mm-hmm. it. And because they let me know, you know, you are and we respect you and right. I wouldn't have I wouldn't I wouldn't have assumed it right. without them letting without them telling me hey you are the reason why we look or why we say or why we act or why we dress yeah. you the go to you that mm-hmm. I wouldn't have assumed it and say that you no, were the, I'm because the reason I heard you why you're doing that uh, one time that you didn't listen to new artists but I heard you say you didn't listen to like like no music no music to, I listened like, to myself yeah, I listened to the last thing I just recorded mm-hmm. right. yeah, yeah I, I listened to Sade and shit like that I, I listened to Sade too yeah you know what I'm saying yeah. like I don't, yeah. I don't have to so yeah. but I seen you receive slack because of that I did so um but 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 why do you why do you think why do you think was that because they expect you to be, to be abreast of what everything is going on because um, you're a goat because you're a goat obviously you know what I saying? think the expectations is it plays a big part I think they expect uh, just like uh, not just me I mean I think they expect everybody you know they expect, they expect everybody Jane to, know to know everything about everybody, everybody. yeah, yeah they expect right. everybody they expect yeah. everybody to know what just happened yesterday yeah, with such right. and such you know right. so yeah. when you you know they don't even have to be music when you right. tell somebody I don't know something and right. it's something that just happened online. On social media or whatever, they about to act. Yeah, it's like you telling them that you just saw alien. Yeah, like fool, you know what I mean? Yeah, like you just saw a UFO or something. Like, man, yeah. I don't know what just happened. Well, who just posted what? You know, so that's what happens. And my music, everybody know. And also, it's also I ran to a bunch of artists uh-huh. that had problems with finding with me saying before that I don't know them uh-huh. publicly, right. and saying that I don't know who that person was, or maybe um, mistaking that person for something. I remember I mistake Twenty One Savage for a damn group. I remember when I was oh, asking, doing, that does sound when they asked me, like, like, I said they got twenty. I said they got twenty-one fucking new rappers <laughs> in one group, and I said and look, I, I was so serious. I was like, I was like, man, that's like a new Wu Tang. And the person with them, I was like. You serious right now? Huh? I was like, I'm very serious. Right. Man. So you know, the homie took a, he took some he took cool, took twenty one. Yeah, he oh, took a, he, he ain't like that. Oh, you know okay. what I mean? Because he thought I knew who exactly who he was, and right. I was trying and to be then he funny. Was playing, right. Yeah, but I've since then I've met him and a few others that was like, man, we understand now that you just be working your fucking ass. Yeah, so you really don't know. Something happened yeah. like with the recording black. Yeah, I think it was 
same type yeah. of thing. Like, yeah. damn, you really don't know. Right. Yeah. No, like, that's real. I could, I, like, listen, especially living out here, it's like we want to mind our own business. Yeah, we want to stay I in our own mind my own business. Like, I, I definitely mind my own business, yeah. stay in my own world. I, so I don't work know. too much, though, yeah. man. I got a, I'm a perfectionist. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm listening to what I just recorded to see if I should have said the or not. Or not. I should have said duh. Or should, should, should I say is or of? Mm-hmm. Things like that. I'm picking parts, so I don't have time to, you know, the, the most I do listen to it, mm-hmm. and when I get, when I start the car, and my phone didn't connect to the, to the Bluetooth yet, and the radio on. Yeah. That's the most I'm hear right there. What the hell just happened? What is my phone doing? Yeah. <laughs> like, what is that? Like, I like this, though. What's this? Is? <laughs> you know, that's how it happens. That's yeah. about but it. That's interesting. A person, yeah. like, have so many radio hits like you. Do you so is it a formula to, like, I'm, I was listening to you and Babyface, right? You know what I'm saying? On the way here, comfortable. Like, I, yeah, I'm that type of nigga. You know what I'm saying? So I was listening to that, and I'm like, you know, is it a formula or is it? Is it Cause like I ain't gonna lie, I be scared to death to go to the studio with Babyface. Like I ain't gonna lie, I be like Babyface, we ain't gonna just make a record. I'm gonna right. just watch you do whatever the gotcha, fuck you. Gotcha. I can't like. Do you go there and be like your Babyface? You got the riff here. No. Hell no. Hell no. I do me. He look like he a gangster, like behind closed doors. Do you. You like he and also, out the pistol. Also, I'll let you know, be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like my mama love babyface. You can't be putting no baby no pistols on my mom. I just lay it down, and you know, and also let that person know. Um, I'm very. Let me know what you don't like and what mm. you do like. What I shouldn't have said. So you allow yourself to be produced. Very much, yeah, right. very much. Any so. producers that you think bring out more out of you than others? Ooh. Uh, definitely. Uh, you got a Swiss. Mm. Yeah, Swiss going Swiss yeah, yeah, Chris yeah. Paul me. Mm. Yeah. yeah, everybody know you know Chris Paul the bulldog. Mm. Anybody think Chris Paul? Yeah. You know, I should have died for that. Sports. You should have died for that. <laughs> I don't know. You, know, <laughs> you should have died with Swiss. You should have yeah. died for that loose ball. Mm. Why you ain't grab that rebound? You was right there. Mm. Yeah. I'm surprised yeah. we go with Manny Fresh first. Oh, you know Manny gonna get Manny Manny gonna get the the natural. I'm a, I yeah. can't help but be natural. Manny's now that is a good, good good reason because right now I'm totally. Different wave right, right. now when yeah, I do different. music. Right. So, still to this day, when I get a Manny Fresh beat though, right. I trigger all the way back to now nah, you gotta do it like this. Right. Yeah, and I trigger all the way back to school. Yeah. Now you can't, you can't it, that's mixtape. You gotta go back to you gotta pass this test. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is, is there somebody you ever wanted to work with and um, you couldn't? Like, I asked Nas that. He said Prince. He said Prince. Mm-hmm. No. Uh, I think you already know I'm gonna say Biggie, man. Biggie? Yeah. Nah, I did not know this story. What yeah. the fuck? Yeah, how old were you at that point? Yeah, this had to be because Biggie died in '95. Oh, you mean I thought you were just asking the question, like, dude, I was oh, that no, song. I'm oh, no, I'm nigga. Yeah, oh, yeah. you had the opportunity to do it. Oh, yeah, I had the opportunity and I wasn't able to work with him. Yeah, or uh, they fronted. They just was like, nah, or oh, they just didn't, you know. Nah, it just didn't happen. Oh, nah, I never Damn. had that situation because, you know, I'm a yes man. Right. Let's get it. But Shit. Biggie would have been at it yeah, Biggie and Wayne Drew. No, that would have yeah. been crazy. Man. That would have been insane. I'm going to play a quick game real quick, right? I know, I know I didn't tell the drink champs this, but I, I just made this up. It's called Grind Time. You made up a game? Yeah, it's called Grind Time. First, first time ever. I, I, was, I, was so, I was so making sure we had stage We got and shit segments and everything. Yeah, we got segments and shit now. Let's, let's go for a minute. I'm going to just ask you quick firing questions. Just ask you. Just say which one you want. Okay, you ready? It's called, you're going to start the timer. It's on time you call, huh? We got a real time. timer. We got a timer? Yeah, let's, let's, I don't know. Let's try something new. That's some new shit. It's called quick time with slap. Uh, I didn't know these drinks was real. Let's do this. This is what you're trying to ball back. This is what you're trying to ball back. Yeah, you got to understand. I got all the TV in the skate park in the studio. And so y'all shit just come on, you know what I mean? Oh, that's, I, that's one TV that just stays on revolt the whole time. You know what I mean? So dumb. y'all come on. Let's pick up the title, too. Big you know what I'm saying? Pick up the title. Title, 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 title. Okay, well, you gonna start the title? You, okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. So it's one or the other, okay? Real All right. quick. All right, ready? Boom. Cardi B or Nicki? <laughs> Nicki. <laughs> Jay-Z or Nas? Jay-Z. Tupac or Biggie? Biggie and Tupac. Did you say what? Biggie and Tupac. No, no I said Tupac or Biggie. Oh, oh, no, he said both. You said Biggie and, and Tupac. Tupac. Yeah. That's very good. I, I didn't think of that answer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. A uh, little Kim or Foxy? Little Kim. Kevin Hart or Chris Rock? Chris Rock. Alcohol or Lean? Lean. Quality control music or TDE? I don't know what TDE is. Kendrick Lamar, though. Oh, you, I thought you was literally. See, see, that's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens. No trick questions, man. I, I, really, I really thought he was asking for like, quality control music. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I, didn't, I 
I, so now I gotta go <laughs> back. So, so quality control music is somebody too. Yeah, that's um, Beagles. Beagles in them. Yeah. <laughs> To God, I didn't know that. Okay, and so you say Kendrick Lamar. Oh, but you know that's their label. Q- TD. TD is Kendrick oh, Lamar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So TD or QVC. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I damn sure thought we was talking about Floyd Mayweather. I said, that, let you, that let you know. That let you know where I'm at with this type of shit. I'm into me and me only, man. TMT, right? <laughs> TMT, right? Tell you. All right, let's get it. All right, TD. Uh, oh man, I like, I love both of these guys, man. Good yeah. Because I don't know too much MGK. That's the only reason, though. Okay, okay. A- Eminem or G Easy? Again, don't know too much. Okay. Come on, man. What kind of question is that? I'm trying, man. I'm trying. 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 I'm
And it's this footage of you in the I beginning don't like to. in the projects. It's just so beautiful, like to see your transition from the beginning like because obviously I, I, I knew you like you know 1999 mm -hmm. or it might have been 1998 we recorded a record I don't yeah. know if you remember because I, 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 I want to I want to say uh, I was the first New York nigga to, to call a little win. Yeah. Well, um, You're the first New York dude with all like most of cash money on. on yes, less, this is exactly what happened. So that's how baby is. That's, that's how, how baby saying, is. Everybody got to come and do that's it. How baby that's how baby is. Let me just say something. Yeah. I, we had a record with um, Juvie, and I wanted to do. Um, I wanted to do Cash Money, Dug Out. And at the time, I didn't know who he was. I didn't know. And he said, "Listen." Watch this kid. He said, not just here. Just watch him. This kid is gonna, you know what I mean? Then he put on Turk and, and it was like we was going together. And let me just tell you something, bro. From right there to where you are now, brother, I have never seen a better transition in hip hop. Bro. Thank you, man. Like, and I synced it. Yeah. I, you know how they say it? I synced it. Yeah, I synced it. I synced it. Yeah. Like, nigga, I am proud of you. You Appreciate continue that, to man. go and break barriers. And I want to tell you from you to your face how thankful we are and how, how much hip hop owes you. Let's make some noise for that. <laughs> Transition, you transition to the CEO. And one thing I noticed that after I seen you do it, I see people like Buster Rhymes do, mm -hmm. and I see people like um, even Drake doing it now, and Rick, mm -hmm. people like Rick Ross. Like you really put your artist sometimes in front of you. Oh, that's how it goes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but I, I like I feel like you was the first one to to like artist artist CEO was the first person to like you like put Nicki and Drake in With front of you. Like yeah. like yeah. With young money, yeah. like, how, how, how did you develop that? Like, I felt like you wasn't even afraid for them to be just as big as you. Oh, plain and simple. That's exactly what it was. No mm. fear, fearless, and also to, to instill it in them. Mm. That's where it plays the most. That's where it's the most vital. Mm. You know, to where you can you you mm. subtract all that away from yourself in front. Right. You know, for them mm. and let them know, hey, this is how much confidence I have in you guys. To where I don't even need none of my credentials, none of my accolades. I don't need me. Y'all just need y'all. Mm. You know what I mean, and, and like, and that's that instills so much confidence in them, and they're they're who they are today because of it. Not to mention just them. You got Tiger, you got people like you know what I mean. Those are these those are people that I sat in the room and had to make sure that let them know to their face that you you a motherfucker. Right. You know what I mean, you a motherfucker. And once you come out, they gonna understand right. you right. are who you are, and you're going from there. Right. You're going from there, and I will I will watch you fly. But that yeah. what he's saying is that's not normal yeah, in an artist yeah. CEO. Yeah. Yeah. Because of because of e and stuff mm -hmm. like that's not usual. That's not the usual yeah. way that that goes. Yeah, that's that's real. Like, um, uh, well, that was that was. Um, I would have to say that was, you know, that, that was uh, probably. Taught, I learned a lot of that from Baby and them. Right, you right. know what I mean? When you look at her, you know, we from the streets, so you're mm -hmm. looking at that same person with the accolades of his street. Now, I know, you know, who we know who Baby was, and he's right. a millionaire from the streets. Right. And in New Orleans, you know, that name, way before I was, a, way before there was rap, before there was a Cash Money Records, that name held weight. Right. You know what I mean? My mama went to school with him. Right. My mama was so scared for me to even be involved with him. Mm. Wow. You know what I mean? She, all she, all she would say was like, boy, that boy was 14 with a million dollars. Like, ain't nobody I don't, even, I don't know how you got him. That was 14. I don't know. She was scared of him. And then, to me, you know, you're a kid. You're a boy. You're, at, once you, you're like, yeah, you go in your room. You're like, oh, shit, I didn't get about you. Like, <laughs> so to me, you know what I mean? To me, he had all that. And he would strip himself of all that. Right. And, you know, you niggas is wow. the niggas when, you know, to me, it's like you when you asking right, him, so you looking at him like, you know, but you know, we ain't do none of this shit you did. Right. You know what I mean? Like, we ain't got to have it. We ain't, we ain't do none of this shit. We ain't push slang. None. We ain't do none of this shit you did right. and for him to strip himself no I believe in y'all y'all gonna rep right. to, to where you you believe in yourself like man he, we, we goons for real right. you know what I mean we goons for real right. cause we got a real goon right here telling, putting, letting us know y'all on the front line and I'm right here with you mm -hmm. you know what I mean so I think that played a big part especially right. Slim Slim was always the one who would
would say, you know, like, uh, you the one. Mm. You know, he would always tell me, you the one. And that's how my career even started. Right. Me getting sick on tour. That's how my career started. Wait, what you mean? Like getting sick on tour. Yeah, I got sick on tour on the, on the Hot Boys tour. We would come out in a helicopter every t- every night. Oh, yeah, that, that was, was the awesome. baddest like the shit ever. <laughs> right, yeah, that we was would come awesome. out in a hot helicopter and, 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 shit like that. and making it rain before there was a, anything called Make It Rain. Yeah. We was making it rain over the crowd in the helicopter. That's how we got to stage every night. And I got sick for a few nights. And so when I was feeling better, uh, I was ready to go back on stage. And Slim was like, nah, 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 you ain't going. I'm like, what you mean? Mm. I'm good. I'm, I'm straight. He was like, yeah, you good. Just just still chill out for tonight. Mm. And I was like, I'm I'm better. I told you. I'm, I'm, so. And you're a kid, so you, like, yeah. naturally you want to so go the, in. The way you get into the helicopter was in, you know, every, thank God, every show was in a big-ass arena. Right. Every night, so a team plays in that arena. <laughs> and this we would get to the, uh, the, the helicopter would be in the middle of the show, of the crowd, though. Mm. And, but it would be covered up. And so the way we would get to it was in the laundry, the mm. laundry bucket, because of the team, the team laundry bucket is bigger than this right. table. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's all four of us. We're getting that motherfucker and push us to that through the crowd. The crowd don't know what it is. Think it's some of the people pushing some right. shit. So every night, when I was ready to get in that motherfucker, Slim held me back. Like, not tonight, bro. Uh-huh. I was like, but I'm, everybody know I'm, I'm feeling better. I thought this whole day we knew I'm, I'm performing. Uh-huh. When my song came on, this was so long ago. This was when you do a show. Your show is linked up, synced up into the damn drive. Yeah. Ain't no such thing as cutting a song out. Right. Mm-hmm. Ain't no such thing as cutting a song it's out. It's in the set already. You, it's, in yeah, it's, it's, a da- it's a dad exactly. back Exactly. Right? Ain't no such thing as mutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Young, 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 young yeah. niggas don't know about yeah, that. Know yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, Talk yeah. that shit, Wayne. Talk that shit. And so, <laughs> and so what that mean, every night they still had to do my song right. without me because it was in them. So they had to do my song every night that I wasn't there. How many so nights do you think they did that? I, I missed four nights. And so Slim, Slim noticed. He said, man, you know, every night they go out there and they say, sorry, Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne couldn't be with us. He a little sick tonight. He said, you know, that my show, my song was the fourth song of the show. He said, you know, that make the song go all the way. He said, that make the show go all the way down to where within four shows, they had to figure out a way to stop saying Wayne couldn't be with us tonight. They just start playing the song and let the crowd just figure out why the hell he ain't out there. Right. You know, just let him deal with and vibe. And, and so that night, he did it. Baby, go out there and say, sorry, y'all, Lil Wayne couldn't make it. I'm sitting there about to cry. But you did it. Yeah, I'm looking at Slim like, bro, I am right here. I'm not coughing no more my stuff. Like, he, said, he said, take your shirt off. He said, take your shirt off. Hurry up, take your shirt off. Like, what? He took my shirt off, pushed me. Was he coming out to fire, man? I feel like a fire. Black is hot. Oh, the black is hot. And so so when the song came, Baby did the whole, Mm. sorry, Lil Wayne couldn't make it tonight, y'all. The Mm. whole crowd did the whole, ah. And then he said, but we still gonna do the song for him like we do every night. Then when the song came on, Slim pushed me out there with no shirt on. (laughs) I ran out there. It was was like Michael Jackson walking on stage. God damn, I told you, God damn. I'm almost making a noise. Yeah, now, that was know, my career. That now, was, I'm bouncing around a little bit. So you know we're going to go all over the place. Um, did we even get your Super Bowl prediction? Mm-mm. We did not get your Super Bowl prediction. <laughs> I think the Packers going to do it. The Packers ain't in it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Because I'm an Aaron Rodgers fan. Did I establish that? You know, I don't agree with a lot of things with Stephen A. But a lot of the one thing I do agree with is Aaron Rodgers He's is a bad man. man. Yes, I wouldn't even agree that with Steve. Yes. But uh, um, I got the Chiefs. The Chiefs, Mahomes. Yeah, yeah I got Mahomes. Right? Mahomes. 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 Mahomes because Mahomes. Because Mahomes. Mm-hmm. Mahomes boy. Because mm-hmm. they got. Uh, I got a player on that team. Fantasy league. Yeah. No, I have a uh, agency. Oh shit. Yeah, I have young money. Agency. Agency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way above yeah. a fantasy league. Yeah. 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 You can floss for real. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my uh, McCole Hartman, number mm. 17 for the um, Chiefs. That's mm. one of my players, and he's a dog. So I would love to see him get his, uh, and a rookie. Wow. So I would love to see him get his Super Bowl ring. So if he get a ring, do you get a ring too? Uh, you, you, you don't win. You can you make that happen. Yeah, you just don't win. I, I, I actually might, might make his ring look better. Why? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh-huh. Than, than the team. That's what I might right. actually exactly. do. Because yeah. exactly. you do a level with Drake. But this is, now this is something I agree with you on, right? 
to sports. Okay. Lakers. I'm gonna be honest. I'm a Laker bandwagon fan. Oh. Meaning, I was down with Magic Johnson. Okay. James Worthy. And okay. The but then they had a cold streak. Then they got Kobe. I came back. I'm with you. Then they had a cold streak. Mm-hmm. Then they got LeBron. LeBron. <laughs> yeah. I am awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Am I accepted in Laker Nation? Or oh, no. oh, they, they oh, might man, kick me out. First of all, it's LA. It's LA. So okay. you already know you can join tomorrow. I can join tomorrow. <laughs> you're a die hard. Okay. You already know you're in you're LA. Right. LA. Yeah. 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 So, but, oh, you are you the Lakers fan? I'm a Lakers fan forever, man. Okay. Yeah. You was fucking with them when they, when they after I they had last to. joined Verdi? Yeah, yeah, I had to. I had to. Uh, yeah, I had to. Okay. I had to ride it on out. I had to ride it on out. Because I'm a New York fan. I got the Knicks and shit. I can't keep two losing teams. I was that one. Yeah. I, I was a fan when AI stepped over to stepped over T Goo. You know how much that hurt? Yeah, just step no, over my dog sports, like that. Man. Let me you wanna know the funniest thing about it though? Okay. All my homies, including some of these niggas with me tonight. Mm. All my homies, they was all all Allen, you know, the whole the whole hood Allen Allen fans. Uh-huh. I'm the only Lego fan in the crib. Ooh. So you know when he hit that shot mm. and stepped over my slime like that, you oh, know yeah. niggas in the yeah. house talking about that, that Lou, oh, I'm at the the yeah, coach, the coach now, nigga's like, that nigga, oh, I told you, <laughs> so I whoop that nigga ass, I catch that nigga. Mind you, All-Star game that year in New Orleans. Mm. We walking up Canal Street, you know, it's All-Star, we, everybody chilling. Well, who we running to? t Lou. Oh, man. I got the little homie and I got all the niggas talking, they'll beat a nigga up when they see him, they'll catch him when they see him. This on my daddy's show, that man ain't have on no I eat walking tank, white beat on, first of all, this is when he had the drink. The braids to the uh, back, braids to the back, white beat on. I told him this, but he's busted. He, he, he remember he bust out laughing, so he know the story. Man, walking up, that man ain't having no iced out basketball. He ain't having no iced out basketball goal. He ain't having no iced out NBA. He ain't having no iced out number. You know, niggas get their numbers yeah. iced out. Man had on iced out boxing gloves. <laughs> yeah, he know, he iced out boxing gloves. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what you guys say when you see two? What you just gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Cause they got a homie right there. <laughs> I said, niggas don't spend money on shit that they don't know that know how to do. You know what I mean? I got a few iced out skateboards. You know what I mean? I know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? A nigga got iced out. I said, that man, a professional NBA basketball player, we got iced out boxing gloves. Though that mean that man knows what's up. Go ahead. What you say? You was gonna do it to the homie? You feel? That's the funniest shit ever, man. Nigga, every time I tell him, he, he like, yeah, I still got them feet. That face. <laughs> so, so, so Green Bay. We in a Green Bay fan. I'm an Aaron Rodgers fan. I can see that, right? Yeah. Being a Laker fan, I can already tell you I relate. Yeah. Here's where I'm a little thrown off. Okay. You a Boston Red Sox fan? Mm-hmm. I don't get the, where this is coming from. Unless you like Dominican people a lot. <laughs> that's the only how. That's the only how I can see. Like, where is this? Where, does, where do you get this from, man? <laughs> I'm confused on this part. This is like fucking city. <laughs> Shout out Big Poppy. Yeah, that's my man. That's my man. But listen, I can see the Lakers. I can see the Green Bay. I just, I've been trying. It's been befooled. I've been befuddled I got you. this whole day. I'm trying to figure out a connection. I got you, too, man. I got okay. you, bro, too. Okay. Pedro Martinez. Pedro Martinez. That's it. All right, I respect that. Yeah. I knew it was Dominicans. Yeah. Let's make some noise for Dominicans. <laughs> He was my favorite favorite pitcher, man. So yeah. I've been rocking this ever since. So that's the type of nigga you is once a, once oh, a, once I'm in, I'm in. Love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Even if your player gets hurt, you still rock with the team. I'm rocking with the team. Yeah. <laughs> you just gonna mm-hmm. stick with. It. Yeah. I feel like that with the Knicks, but it's not working out for me, Wayne. Yeah, I know. I'm... Um, the Nets. How we looking this year? Hi. Yeah, hey. Yeah, we we'll right. looking good next year. You heard that? Nah. When you KD get back? The Nets. He don't get the young. He don't get back. Next Next year. Yeah. Right we Look, we're already talking about next year, Wayne. So this is the type of life year. we live in. And this <laughs> we ain't even thinking about this year. Nigga, it's January. <laughs> A 
Saints fan, I would think you are. Um, I don't think you are, like the New Orleans, You ain't a New Orleans team fan at all. I like my, you know, I, 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 I you know, Drew Brees, yeah, like, uh, go, go, you know. Yeah. But I'm a, I'm a real sports fan. With mm, that said, you know, his team, right? You're right, I rock with my squad. Mm. Yeah, and everybody, you know, everybody around my age. Mm. I oh, that's from New Orleans. Mm. I tell them every day, stop it, stop it. <laughs> Because growing up at, in New Orleans around my age and around everybody, no one was a Saints fan. No one was. No one. Was they say, who, who was who that? Team? Who that? Yeah, who that? yeah whoever who it was, it that? was another, 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 another. <laughs> And not since, you know, they, they you know, they bandwagon. Now, you know, they went and you know, all of a sudden, I'm talking about nigga Saints, that, that, what a Saints. My nigga, you was a fucking Cowboys fan. You was a 49ers or a Cowboys uh, fan. We was, you was either one of them two. In New Orleans, you know what I mean? You everything but a Falcons fan. Right. You know what I mean? Now all of a sudden you got a million thousand Saints fan, you know, so I stick with my pack, man. Go pack, go. So what, what, what do you think? Um, let's, let's do a shout out. Let's, let's do a shout out. Let's do a shout out of Wayne shit. Let's do a shout out of Wayne shit. We're going to do a shout out of anything, goddammit. <laughs> so what do you think the Lakers going to do this year? Uh, I definitely think, you know, obviously we're going to be we're gonna be out there. We're going to be up there. We're going to be there for the championship. Because last year we didn't make the playoffs. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's bad. We're going to yeah. be in the playoffs. I, I wasn't really Claiming us like that. We're gonna year. be in the playoffs. Then we got Anthony Davis. I was bad. Where we going? Again. And we going. We going. We gonna have to meet up with them folks though. What you say? We gonna have to meet up with them folks though. Okay. We gonna have to meet up with them Clippers. Um, they more of a threat than Houston. Yeah. 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 They got that dog over there, man. I, I thought. I thought my man. Um. Crazy, I heard. I think. Yeah, yeah you talking about James? James Harden, my yeah. nigga. He got braids in his he car. He got the braids right and now. shit. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he mean business. He yeah. dropping triple triples. That's how he rock him and uh, and you know Russ is a fucking bulldog. You already know Russ one of my if not if not one of my top three players if not other than LeBron. Right. I think Russ my second best player in the league. Other than LeBron, Russ. Other, next to the, yeah, next to LeBron. Russ is a dog, bro. Yeah. A you dog. thought Melo would do this good? Oh man, Melo, man, Melo is beautiful right yeah, now. Ain't it? Yes. That shit is awesome, man. Yes, man. That shit is awesome, man. I, I had no expectations because I know Melo. No, he's black in Puerto Rican. I had to root for him. I'm black in Puerto yeah. Rican. You know, I had to listen yeah. automatically. I got to root for him. Like but I believed, I believed, but I, I still had to root extra. I felt That's like right. he never did nothing wrong. To, he might never have another black. I never Puerto saw Rican. the. I never saw a, a bad Melo. Mm -hmm. yeah. For me to say, for me to say, when he come back, he ain't gonna be right. You right. know what I mean? So I didn't see that. So that's why I was like, I just was looking. I just, I had no expectation. I just want to see what he gonna do when he get yeah. back. Mm. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah. Mm. Come on, and this is your shit, right? Yeah. Salud, goddammit. What is this? What is this? What is this? <laughs> We've been drinking this too. We've been drinking this too on the show. This is bamboo. bamboo. This is bamboo. Uh, mm. What I know a lot of what I know the most about it is about the vanilla bean extract. God damn, sounds what, rich. Yeah, they. It's, Cheers. There yeah, we go. It's vanilla awesome. bean extract. Nickels. Mmm. Woo. Nicki Minaj, yes. you spoke about briefly you discovering Drake. Yeah. I don't think we got into depth, but we'll get we'll get into okay. that. But Nicki Minaj, at the time, there's Little Kim, there's Foxy Brown, there's Trina, there's so many mm -hmm. other female artists. This is ours. You being you being from New Orleans and then moving um, to Miami, yeah. this is like a leap. You know, uh, I remember her being signed to, I believe, Dirty Money or something like that. Okay. Oh, so I, I, maybe, maybe she wasn't signed, but affiliated with. Okay. And then I just remember just, boom, being with Young Money. Like, was that a risk for you, signing a New York artist? Because I, I don't know at that time, were you used to working with, like... It wasn't a risk at all. Oh, okay. But yeah, again, that goes back to the confidence I have in, right. you know, in, in the person, in the individual. Right. Right. So it was never a risk at all. Right. Plus, also, um, her being from New York, mm -hmm. you know, they, whoa, oh, they, they, right. they, the female rappers from New York, mm -hmm. regardless of the names we yeah. named, just period, female rappers from New York, they're a different breed when it comes to rap. Mm -hmm. And she was that same, she cut from that same cloth. And what I mean by that is they got clips. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Female, a lot of, I work with a bunch of female artists. 
artists and mm-hmm. a lot of female artists work like females should work you know and mm-hmm. very particular about what they do mm-hmm. very specific about what they say very particular about how they work and mm-hmm. you know when Nikki started she and the trend is like anybody but that's a New York female artist and mm-hmm. that's why I said she covered that's how that card is out there that's they, if you cut from that card that's how it is they ready to go they got clips and what's the subject because <coughs> it ain't about to be she ain't about to come in here talking about you know like I'm about to fuck this guy I'm about to do this I want my hair this way mm-hmm. she about to come in and motherfucker talking about yappas and talking about yeah and that right that was always the confidence I had and I always told her you know you're gonna probably have to you know start talking about more general things that people probably would like to see when they see you people gonna want to hear certain things from you other than what you other than what you're dishing out but don't stop dishing it out because it's you so once they accept you you ain't got no problem with I've always been who I am anyway and y'all accepted me and I have no problem with longevity because I'm gonna be me forever but your thing is a little different what I mean by that is like you know Dre had a snoop right Mm -hmm. and then um, you know like uh, Jay has a Kanye but you Mm -hmm. had much both at the same time Mm -hmm. and they were like like, Drake and Nicki Drake and Nicki at the same time like did that ever fuck you up like like, am I that crazy because you like both of your shits work like you know usually it's one or the other but it was a lot of artists too did you you see it like it was just them too Mm -mm. like did you have a criteria when you were looking at Mm -hmm. these artists that you were that I'm looking for something that yeah. uh, the only thing I actually ever look for is hunger mm. yeah hunger the, mm. the, just to act, the, the need for the want for need or the need for right. want it just will have it you know just hunger just no matter what we doing and when we doing it let's do it that right. you know what I mean that person always works no matter as long what. as the drive was there yeah as long as the drive right. is there that person you know I mean, as far as skill and all that skill can always be crafted and sharpened and mm. worked on mm. if you got the hunger in you then that's it's definitely gonna happen right. they have both of they have you know what I mean they had all of that, not Full just package. those two. Everybody, the other artists on the label as well. Mm. Even the artists, obviously the artists that are still on the label. That's what I see in them to this mm. day. You got the hunger. You always ready. And you always looking for. So they can always be rewarded. Mm. And rather the world rewards them or not, and mm. rather the you know rather the record the record game rewards them or not. Me as a person, I'm gonna always re- mm. reward them. That's beautiful, man. Make some noise. Let's do another shot. Let's do another motherfucking shot on that. I felt that right there. I felt. Come on, come on. Come on. This is how I, felt. I felt that. No, this right ain't there. no joke. We drink no, this. No, we drink. No, this. we drink this shit. Oh, you got, I, we I drink this. this. This ain't no joke. Drink. I ain't know if y'all fucking watch it, but I know y'all drink. No, we drink this. We drink. No, we drink. In our holiday special. Yeah. We don't remember much, but we remember <laughs> drinking this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. We had it in the holiday special. It was heavy. We were yeah. hard. Holiday we special. Hard. We were hard. Yeah, but um, so Wayne, like, boom, you're one of the guys that like. They say blood, like, you know, blood, like, you, like it, 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 it kind of like, a lot of people say that their blood now is because they seen Wayne be blood, mm-hmm. or, you know, I'm just, I'm just, you know, just in case you didn't one. know that. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm just being like, honest, like, artists and things like that, because a lot of people say, you know, Wayne was an artist first, mm-hmm. and then started, you know, mm-hmm. putting up the, how, how, how do you even, like, approach something like that? Like, haven't heard that one before, but when I'm ever asked uh, how it came about, right. uh, the answer is always the same. The answer is we've never in New Orleans. We didn't have Bloods and Crips. We did. Mm-hmm. It was in a part of New Orleans, and they still do. They go hard. They're right. totally different. They, right. They've always we always called them, uh, and this was in the '90s, and they've been like this. And so we always called that that area of New Orleans the West Bank. Wow. And funny that is actually the West, West Bank. Bank. And we always called them look. The that's the West Side. That's the right. that's, that's the crazy. California niggas. Right. Lead them along with they. Right. To this and right now to this day, their right. blood and Cripping is like. Cali blood and Crip, they ain't on the, they ain't on the, the yeah. blood, you know, the B squad, the slime, they ain't on, they really still on their red and blue out right. there on in that part of New Orleans. Right. We always had that. Right. And so where I'm from, mm-hmm. we, woe band, the band that represented where we were from was the soldier rag. Right. Everybody, you know, knew so, that yeah. represented the yeah. Magnolia soldiers, right. but everybody ain't from Magnolia. Right. You know what I mean? So you got, but that area, that juvenile, rep, you know, New Orleans is split up into wards. Right. Yeah. Represented to where you got third ward, fourth, fifth. Yeah. Texas like that too as well. Exactly. Right, yeah, right. they got the big fifth ward out yeah. there. So what juvenile juvenile from Magnolia, that's the third ward. Right. That 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 ward is big. It got more than just the Magnolia project. It had the Melfamine project, the Calio 
project in a bunch of regular just neighborhoods. Just you know what I mean so Oh, I said the Magnolia and on on Calios in the same same wall. Same wall, same yeah. wall. It's like counties. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Yeah. So so all of that though is represented by uh, you know all of the obviously everywhere has a See, uptown, uptown. Downtown. Say uptown. Yeah. Okay. Right. So some some wards are downtown. Some wards so that's a, when you want to when you want to represent where you're from and not just a, you want, you want to represent not just 17th and specifically right. you want to represent I'm from uptown. The red rag was always for right. uptown, right. and so I stuck with the red bandana because right. I couldn't do the soldier rag because I, I started and what happened was I went back to the hood and niggas like I wish you would come right back around here with that dumb ass shit. <laughs> You ain't for this ain't the Magnolia, nigga. It's Holly Grove. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was Holly I was Grove. told that. You know, yeah. nigga, like you ain't from the third one, nigga. Stop acting like you're from, yeah. from the project. You ain't from the project. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I had to leave that alone and get yeah. back get back to what it is. Because it was like you and Dipset. Like you and Dipset and, I, and like even yeah. you and Jewels yeah. at one point. Like y'all developed this great relationship. Yeah. And people started to see y'all sitting there. Yeah, yeah. yeah God, God bless you, Jewels. Yeah. My bro, too. So um you, you did you, you never heard this before that they felt like you influenced like a whole bunch of like, you know what I mean? I mean I don't think that, I don't I think I thought truthfully if you ask me right. I thought niggas was just had their own I thought niggas, them niggas really had their own they got their own gangs in their city right. and wherever right. they from cause you know what right. we hearing right. and the niggas go to shooting at each other and <laughs> shit and that shit real so, you know what right. I mean? whatever don't matter what color you got on right. that shit serious once yeah. they go to shooting at each other no that's just so I, I have no I had no opinions on right. how you be, become a blood or whatever cause once you go to putting them triggers out niggas then you're blood my nigga whatever you say you <laughs> whatever that. Game. You, you are you that, man. You that, my nigga. <laughs> Shit. Well, wait, well, let me just let you know, man. Our show is about saluting people, man. So many people want to say how great you are if something happened to you. That that's and that to me, I I, I understand that, but I want to do it while people are alive. I want to do people while you know. So many people, when you get ten years in this game, they want to say, yo, he's old, or he's old, he's washed up. Not in this show, man. This show, we want to celebrate our people, man. Like for real, like you know what I'm saying. Like the last time uh, you see my son, my son is over there. He was ten years old. You did my right there. <laughs> he did. It. He was a kid. He was a kid, and um, he did my video. And I remember like just you making my me cooler to my kids. My kids like you know the way. I'm like that's my man. trying to tell you, man, our generation needs to start doing this more where we can bring each other because it makes me no less of a man to let you know, tell you how great you are. You know Likewise. what I'm saying? And when we rolled on the, on the, on the um, thing here, I, first of all, I studied you for two days. I told Mac Main this. It's like, I just studied everything about you. Shout out Mac Main, by the way. Yeah, shout out Mac Main, motherfucker. <laughs> So, uh, uh, so it was crazy because Mac I, was I one thought of, I knew everybody Mac was one of the songs. niggas that told me to stop wearing that soldier rag too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought I knew every one of your songs, but then I put on my son. Even new, but now I gotta get into how to, how you love, cause that's one of my shits. How you love, like, hey, I'm gonna go my name. What, 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 what was going on? What I feel like, I feel like that was some good pussy. <laughs> I feel like someone put it on you. But you didn't know how to love. Nah, man, it was. Uh, Solid, let's take a shot first uh, before you answer yeah. that. Salute. Salute. Out of love. Out of love. Out of love. It came about, it was. Uh, it was at the moment, at the time where I finally started accepting ideas, other people's ideas. Mm. You know, I was stuck in my ways. Like, you know, everything I do work, I don't need to, I mean, but started accepting ideas. And obviously, I was not going to accept no ideas. Still have a hard time accepting any idea for rap. Right. Mm. Anybody tell me what, my, what rap need to sound like. Mm. Now, man, you, you could give me some R&B shit that maybe I could right. kind of over. Mm. Those was one of the joints. Mm. And I put my own words to mm. some, some points and some parts. When I first got it, I thought that, you know, man, this might be a little too positive for me, you know what I mean? Positive? Yeah. I didn't get too that positive? Oh. That's why I said I, I put a lot of my own words in it. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so, so that's one. Once I did that and heard, see what the outcome was, right. like you know, this works, and that's how that came about. And shout out that song, man. I meet people that um, you can clearly see. You know, I don't judge, but you can clearly see that person is not a Lil Wayne fan. Right. It's not about them being a fan. What I mean by that is they don't. They're not going to their playlist and checking out some Lil Wayne. But you know, when they have real 
genuine stories about what that song did for them. You know, and, and playing it up and tell some tells me that you know I've been a fan ever since right. that song. Right. You know, and when they tell me that, that was like I, you a know, Tupac almost Brenda got a baby, got a baby like, type of you know thing. What I mean? yeah. like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like in another like because like everyone just was, yeah. Was that's like, what I said. That's yeah, what, yeah, that's, that's real song shit. Like that, you know, yeah. The people. That's why I said the people that come up to me and tell me what that song is not is people that's obviously wow, that's you can look at them and see that you ain't checking me out. Right. But they tell them tell me what that what they was going through at some point of their lives and what that song did for them and that song helped them look in the mirror and things like that right. and helped them be able to see the person that was there and stop listening to this and stop hearing this and stop worrying or caring about mm. kids that was me I've had kids that were being bullied tell me about that song mm. I've had people that were overweight mm. and tell me about what that song did for them and how, right. how great they feel about themselves now mm. and things like that yeah so that's weird good song. Let me tell, you know, hold on let me tell you something this Ill. Um, I don't know if you remember that you put a group that I met Managed Mayday mm. in two of your videos. Mm. The group made it, the band. The remember? band, yeah, yeah, yeah punk, yeah. yeah. And, and it was ill because you you brought, you had them in your video shoot, mm. and then they, we brought a t-shirt for you, and you threw the t-shirt. You no, know, at first you were like, it's a little too big. You're like, I right, fuck it, I right. put it on, killed it, and then you invited them to, to perform at a Super Bowl Super party, Bowl party. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which was crazy for us, and we went and we did it, mm. and then we met with Baby too, and it didn't work out. But whatever. <laughs> Much love you showed these guys, yeah. and then you put on the shirt and all that. And then Mac Man ended up doing a track with them. Mm. And I just wanted to thank you, just you know, on the record here on the show. Yeah, like, you love, really were genuine. Love. You showed love to the guys, you know, you wanted to learn. They, they, you play guitar yeah, with them, yeah. with the guys, and you showed love to them. So, thank you for that. That's all love. <laughs> Did they? Yeah, I, yeah, I, I yeah, swear to God, yeah. I'm about to say, how they doing? Yeah, they signed a Tech Nine you know, and, and the they've been touring ever since. Yeah, yeah, no, no, we know, we know. Yeah. Shortly after that, we signed a Tech Nine. That's yeah, the guy like, signed a Tech I Nine. I saw him on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, before, because we're going to get into this new album that we got, we got dropping. But before we get to that, I got to win this bet real quick. Um, on a million, which is one of my favorite videos, by the way. Thank That's you. one of the best hip hop videos Thank ever. You. Like, you, you obviously you've seen the exhibit video first, right? You ever see what you see is what you get now. I like, know that video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, those two videos together. That video's like, crazy. Th- those are the two two crazy, craziest rap videos to me. Gotcha. Right? But in the record, you say, a millionaire, I'm a young money millionaire, tougher than Nigerian hair. Okay. Mm. I won. Make some noise for me, man. <laughs> Nigerian, yeah. I said no. I think this is Nigerian here. Yeah. Listen, I so I won. I'm definitely there. They, they, they said Nigerian, Nigerian yeah. yeah. Uh, like, so I'm like, oh no, 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 no. I won this battle. So. <laughs> So shout glad, out Nigeria! So shout out Nigeria! I did a, uh, I did my uh, 23 and Me. It's kind of like Ancestry.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My I shit got came, 23 Me too. My shit came back like 53 percent Nigerian. Oh shit! Yeah, me and my mom need to have a talk. Oh, shit. <laughs> Holy shit, Nigerian! That's have all. you been to Nigeria? No. You need to go out. Gotta, they got a huge hip hop scene. already yeah. done. I gotta be there. I yeah. gotta go see. You know, One that's, like, that's what you check and do the thing for. Yeah. yeah. Little Wayne won't go to Dubai because you can't smoke. I've been to Dubai a few times. <laughs> this is not a good rumor. Then. Obviously, you no. found a way to smoke it. <laughs> <laughs> this is, are, you, are, you, are you bringing Bud to Dubai or no? Nah, we just, I think every time we go, they make sure it's a short stay. Like, uh, you go there, do the show, you pop right back out that bitch. Get but that's it. the reason why I got uh, my G-Wagon, because I saw that bitch in Dubai. Oh, I never mm. seen it in America. I was like, what is that? God damn it. I need it, I need it now. I thought it was a Hummer. Mm. That bit was that big. I was like, that, that Hummer is, that, I need that. And like, as a Benz. Mm. It's like, damn, you just off the price like three more hundred thousand. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. It's like, I still want it. Did y'all really have Hummers sitting on 32s back in the days? Fuck yeah. yeah really did. I'm trying to figure out what 32s look like back then. <laughs> they meant know? the tires. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the tires. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah. the yeah. rims. Like, I'm them like bitches were big, too. Nah, I'm not sure. Some of the yeah, I'm about to say, yeah. Here, man. I'm, say, I'm not sure what's because them bitches was big, too. Mm. That nigga, was, he was a, a rim fanatic. Mm. Stunner was a rim fanatic. I, mm. I didn't put no rims on my shit. Mm. He would put them on there. Mm. Yeah. He would steal your car and do that. 
That's real talk. Oh. It was steal your car and do that. And you put rims on it? I'll put everything in your shit. Speakers, rims, TVs, all that. That's a good thing. Nah, nah. You pull up, you pull up. What the fuck is this? Thank you for checking this, this my shit. This how you riding? This how you really riding right now? Like, yeah. Like, man, give Charlie the keys to the expedition. You got to ride the expedition for a good week and a half. He come, he call you and tell you come get your car. Your shit got all kind of different shit. You didn't press the button. Your shit and turn to a whole nother damn car. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever just leave it? Like, I hope he jacked that shit today. <laughs> nah, because he's going to jack it and take care of it. After that, you don't want to jack that motherfucker no more. <laughs> now, was Kurt Currency the first artist signed to Young Money? I don't know. He was the first artist signed. Was he? No, he was on Cash Money. He was on Cash Money already. Young Money? Nah, he signed up. He signed to Young Money. First to Young Money? Yeah. Yeah. I could have sworn I had Cash no. Money vinyl from. No, no, I'm saying that he was first signed to Young, young Money. Young Money, probably oh. said Young Money, Cash Money. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I don't know. It was a joint venture. Mm-hmm. Right, 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 right. Like Cash, first thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, what about the Shout Saudi Arabia currency. experience, though? Huh? The Saudi Arabia experience. What happened in Saudi Arabia? Oh, it was awesome. Okay. Yeah, it was awesome. They, they're very different. The people out there are very different. Their culture is very different out there. You learn a lot. Right. If you are interested, like I am, I'm very... Mecca's there. Yeah, I'm yeah. very, I'm very uh, intrigued. I get intrigued by different things, you know what right. I mean? So it was a bunch of different stuff out there. Every second was different. It's awesome, though. Ended up overall, once I was able to sit down and think about the whole situation it was awesome so you performed out there I performed out there I drew 55,000 people and they, you could curse or you couldn't curse yeah they tried they told me you know obviously tried actually they, the only thing I was told you know try to keep it down on try to keep the cursing down it wasn't a problem but try to try to keep the you know I usually say something about uh, sexually explicit nah huh? I usually say something and before and after my show about uh, thank God and stuff like that you know just they didn't re- they didn't make demand that I did right, like, you know you, don't say nothing about your religion they think it's blasphemous to say yeah they didn't demand it at all right. they didn't demand that you don't say nothing about your religion it's just, you know, just an, uh, consider, you know, if you don't mind, you know, if you don't mind, if you may not want to say something, right. may, may not want to bring religion into it tonight. Wow. That was all. Other than that, it was a regular show. Mm. That man, whoever paid for that damn show, they, <laughs> I've never had a show that big in my damn my own career. I went back and saw the pictures. I was like, they had fireworks going off and shit. <laughs> I was like, I ain't never had fireworks. That motherfucker, that, motherfucker. that shit look like a Kiss concert. Mm. <laughs> just in case you want to smoke chat. Just me. You know, yeah, yeah, you know. Oh, you got your shit. I was just like the, the shit was crazy, and I, and I got and I got a free Frank Mueller and a, uh, and a Lamborghini truck. Wait, from the show? Nah, a from, part of the deal. From the homie, from the. Uh, so when I got there, when we landed. We land in the private airport, you know what I mean? All that cool. shit. We put, I put my backpack through the little shit, through the little the thing you sit your shit on and it goes through the thing. I haven't been to the regular airport in a minute, I'm right. sorry. So that thing. The, the detector thing, of yeah, some that shit. Thing. I ain't did that shit in so long, so I just, I was like, what do I sit on? I set my backpack with all my jewelry on there. And so the lady said, I'm sorry, you know, the jewelry's too much. You gotta, if it's over 25K, you gotta, she, I think she was trying to say, if it's over 25K, you gotta start, you gotta declare it or something like right. that. Couldn't understand what she was trying to say but anyway that so with me right. with me I'm, a, I'm very I'm good person. yeah I'm good thank right, you cool, no problem. Yeah, I got I'll take double shot man no problem <laughs> with uh with her she said what I told with me I'm I'm very no nonsense so I was like man fuck all that shit I went and got back on my plane I was right. like man fuck all right. like, I ain't coming in I'm like fuck it I'm going anywhere I don't need to be here but I can't cause I couldn't understand what she was saying right. didn't know that that was she was saying about right. the jewelry and shit I just thought she was saying something about my bag or whatever Whatever. So I like fuck all that shit. I'm gone. So I was sitting on my plane. My pilot said it was. I figured they was too tired to leave. But my pilot said, "Shit, I gotta leave. We can leave. I get you to Dubai. Right. You know what I mean? Like I, we can go to Dubai and sleep there for the night." I was like, "Shit, that sound good to me." <laughs> and so all of a sudden, as I'm sitting on my plane, I, everybody nigga walk back on the plane like, "Yo." Quote unquote, His Excellency found just found out about this shit, and he pissed and he said, "You got what?" He said, "You walk straight through, no nothing." I say, "Man, I'm not getting off my plane if it ain't what y'all just told me." <laughs> if I ain't walk, I walked when I got off the plane. Everybody that was in that damn airport, but when I first walked through that bit, they was like, like statues. Like, Nobody look, said yeah. nothing. You're looking the other yeah. way. Yeah. yeah. I walked straight through like. Hey, it's a monster. Like, yeah. But not so quite like you. Okay. So yeah. then I get Yours a text. Way fly. I get a text saying, yo, he's 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 very upset. He would like to come to your room and apologize 
I see you in person. Was he the said, king? He, yeah, his excellency, quote unquote. So, so and they said, yeah. they said um, he would just take five minutes. I said, I ain't got no problem with it. He came that motherfucker. He was highly upset. He was highly upset. He came and he said, he was like, 25K, your jewelry over 25K. I bring you gift over 25K. And he, he made his homie open the gift. It was a Frank Mueller watch. So I know, like, yeah, that's definitely over 25K. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then after, so when he was leaving the room, he said, uh, he said, oh, I forget. <laughs> Lamborghini or Ferrari? I thought it was a general question. Like, I do all like, the like time. Like, it, oh, like, a general you do a like, quick time Islam? You thought I, it was like that? Yeah. No, no, no. Like, like, you know, like, I don't know shit. You know, like TD, like TD. Right, 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 right. I thought it was a general question. Lamborghini or Ferrari? I said, oh, Lamborghini. Uh, you know, I thought he was asking me what's better or something. Right. You know, like, yeah, like quick time. Yeah, yeah like, like quick time Islam. Like, 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 like that, yes. And I, I wasn't thinking exactly like that. You know, like shit, Lamborghini, Ferrari. I said Lamborghini. Mm. What color? I said, Oh, you talking about me? One? I said black. <laughs> in front of your house in three weeks. I am very sorry for this. Oh, you should have said and Ferrari. And, <laughs> Too. I'm still thinking he pissed, just joking, not joking. Think he just, you know, showing his, showing his, showing his, yeah. I said, let me get a truck. I said, they knew. I heard they know one of them let me get trucks. They knew. I got that bit like two, two, two three days ago. God damn it. Make some noise for that. God damn it. Let's do the shot for the baby's brain. Alright, let's do the shot first. Alright, let's do it. Alright, let's do the shot first. Because I, I, I was thinking that baby's brain. Alright, alright. Oh, that's us, just us. Alright, that's us. That's okay. Oh, I got you. Gotcha, there you go. There you go. Salud. Shit like that. I don't get. I don't take notes for a lot of niggas, nigga. I've been you know supposed me? to get that bitch like 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 two weeks ago, but he he demanded that it didn't come in black, and I, f I heard that he demanded that I they get that bitch oh, wrapped oh, in black. Oh, like the, oh the, the wrapped the charcoal, not the charcoal. The charcoal black. black. Oh, yeah. like the charcoal black. Yeah. Okay, all right, that's hard. In the car, and he, they, he couldn't get it that way, so he demanded that they wrap that bitch in black <laughs> before they sent it to me. So I just got it. I was like, yeah, he he a bad man. Whoever he his excellence. See, that's my nigga. That's my, I ain't gonna front. I that's ain't gonna front. That sounds like a new mixtape. It's excellent. That's my nigga. That's what I'm saying. That's my nigga. What's, what's your favorite one of your old mixtapes? Uh, I think uh, either no, no sales. I say one of the. I think dedication. Yeah, I dedication. Say, dedication. Yeah, dedication, yeah, dedication, yeah, dedication one. Dedication, dedication four. And any one of them. I go through them. Huh? No sales. Yeah. Yeah. Let me look at all the names. I got all the names. Diego, gonna put up all the names. Diego, yeah. Just the mixtapes. I like the prefix too. I go back and fuck with the prefix. Yeah. Sorry, piss. Yeah. Sorry for the wait. One of them. I fuck with one of them. Sorry for the wait. But uh, definitely drought three. Yeah. I'm looking at this list, way. First off, you, you, you sold 100 million records? Do you know that? Yeah. He said, yes, again. <laughs> I love how you got the most normal shit. He's like, yeah. He's like, like, it's 100 million records, bro. That is crazy. You can't go nowhere on earth where they don't know you. <laughs> like, for real. Like, you can't just go to TJ Maxx. You can go to the Masters Golf Competition in Georgia, and they can't react. That was the funnest experience ever. Okay, I have no idea what you're talking about. Yes. Let's break it down. So I mean, when you're at the Masters, uh -huh. which is the biggest golf tournament, of course, yeah, mm -hmm. you can't, you know, you can't. In, make in Atlanta. Noise. Yeah, in, in Atlanta. No, no, you said Georgia. Yeah, at, it's, it's a part of Georgia that ain't Atlanta. No, yeah, it's, 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 it's I think it's because Atlanta. Atlanta it's, it's niggas everywhere. It's at, Atlanta, Augusta. Uh, Augusta. Okay, okay, I knew it. Augusta, Atlanta. Augusta there's Georgia. There's niggas on everywhere in Atlanta. Yeah. All right, go ahead. So you can't make. You know, as a golf tournament, you got to be quiet. Okay. And so when you get there, they even give you a whole. You go stand. You go to a room before you even hit the, the golf course. You go to a room and watch a TV like you in fucking third grade. What? You watch a TV 
a TV fucking special that lets you know what you can't do and what you can't do. No phones, no phones, no loud reactions. You can only cheer when it's cheering time, and that's all you can do. And so with that said, so we get so we gets out there, we walking around. You know, it's the masses. That bitch pack. It got over. Over such and such thousand, over over double digit thousand. And the thousand Tiger people. Woods plan? Yeah. Okay, all right. So, so you went to the win. Yeah. Tiger, this is a great story. Let's my keep Jeep, this going. They cannot okay. do nothing. They just walk past you. They gotta just do. They just gotta just. You know. They just gotta just. They see you. They just gotta. <laughs> Be invited to the masters? Yeah. Okay, I right, yeah. Cause they ain't invite me. I don't know shit like that. Huh? Uh -huh. I won't be invited. No, because the escorts, they yeah. act like we was invited. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out my escorts, they from home, they from home. Yeah, because what that said, the escorts, they was OGs in that because what that said, the people, you know, it's a golf tournament when you, if you want to sit at a certain hole, that mean you sit there that whole day, that's your seat. It's like a picnic. Mm. That's your, ain't no seat, you know, ain't no, no road. Yeah, yeah, that's your spot. Right. So for anybody to come ask, ask for you, if you one of the guys that just want to follow your golf, the guy that you following, and you end up, he end up at a hole where somebody been sitting there all damn day. It's hard to ask that person, yo, can I come walk up over here and just watch him hit this one little hole and, and I'm gone? Whoever my escorts was, as soon as they went asked them, everybody was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. So we parted every little, every, we watched every, every, and the guy who I wanted to win one, he's from LSU. Shout out LSU for kicking, whoo! For kicking that ass the last week, you already know. Shout out LSU. Shout out LSU. Get the gag, get the gag. Goddamn, beat him up. And Elder Becker was at the game, too, right? Yeah, shout out Elder Becker. Elder Becker, he smacked the cop's ass, right? I don't know about all that, man. I don't know about all that. 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 I I, I think the vegan did was like fuck it. We got security. We got enough. And that day was they was making you and Ja Rule an example. Mm, this is I, haven't I, heard heard. I haven't heard that. Haven't heard that. Because with that said, I, I got an explanation for why I think what happened. Okay. I went out there and you know like me and Ja we brothers still mm. to this day. Mm. He had told me that before I did. I think I went to either his show or just talked to him before I did my show. And he had some problems at his show with the with the law or whatever at his show. Oh wow. So I know for a fact I showed my ass on stage. I was tripping. That you know, I was. I think after every damn song, I probably say, "And by the let, when I say fuck, y'all say the police." I was just going, you know, like, fuck. And I was on um, tripping that night. I remember that. So with that said, I we got stopped. I figured we was gonna get popped. Like all these motherfuckers mad at me for tonight. I, that's what I figured it was about. And I haven't heard anything else other than that. Now that night though, at they showed they had. They were just too funny that night. The police, they were too funny. They didn't know who the hell I was. They didn't know who the hell to pick. They you know the lady, the, the police, the female. Officer, she said, Psh. sorry, she had said all of us on the um, kind of all of us on the curb is like thirteen of us. She said, Psh. She said sorry, I got him right. Here. Psh. Little the rapper, little one. Psh. She said, Psh. okay, okay. Psh. He come back. She said, what? Psh. Tattoos, dreadlocks, gold teeth. Psh. She came back. She said, she was flying the light, flashed the light on us. She said, Psh. sorry, that's all of them. <laughs> 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 
So that's all of them. <laughs> all of them got tattoos, dreams, and gold teeth. So you want to take all these niggas? All of them there. Oh, I, I, I told her when she passed out, I'm Lil Wayne, man. Uh, uh, I'm who they looking for. I'm that nigga. Uh, well, because you know, in New York, we love you, man. Yeah, I just want you to know love, that. Man. We want you to know love, that. Man. That was a fucked up night for you. And we apologize love. for the fucking, it you know, the people. Love, but we man. love you in New York. New York we, we want you to always love. know that. Let's make some noise for us. Tough day back then, man. So, Y'all show me too much. I ain't had one tough day in Rikers, man. Not one. Wow, that that's something. That's something great to hear. So now, because um, the whole time we've been hearing you saying great things about Baby, right? Mm -hmm. And Baby's my man as well. I spoke yeah. to him earlier. Um, but it was a time where it was a misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. You don't have to get into it if you don't want to. But um, you know the uh, um, the Carter Five. Mm -hmm. It was a whole campaign. This is when I asked you earlier. I said. The, did you realize how much love you have yeah. in this industry? Because once there was a free Carter Five campaign, I never seen so many hashtags of people that I didn't know that knew you that knew you. But it, that was a real thing. Yeah. That was like a like all compared to like similar to like let the locks go when mm. it was time for like people to just be like, you know what, Diddy, we love you. We're not, we're not, we're not standing against you, but we're standing next to, to the locks at this time, and that's what I felt like people were doing. It was like, yo, baby, we love you, we fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? But you know, the artistry, the artist system was standing by you. Mm -hmm. Like, how, how did that feel? If if you could explain that, because I by was, the way, it, it was none of our business. No, no, it's all good. Family wise, uh, what I'm saying, like family wise, it was humbling. But you know, uh, everyone was standing with, with you. It so. was humbling, you know. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It was humbling. It made made me feel like. Like I ain't alone. You know what I mean? When that, when at that time I definitely could have felt super alone. You know, could have felt like like you said, my brother's been left. Right. I could have felt like, man, what the hell did you? You know what I mean? I could have felt very, but mm. the the industry made me feel like, boy, you better not stop. Or, boy, right. you better not hold your head. Right. You know what I mean? You better not hold your head down. You are who you are, and you still gonna do what you do regardless. And with that said, being able mm. to do what I do still regardless. Right. That came from a question you asked earlier. Right. That came from doing all those damn features mm. years ago. Mm. Those same artists, mm. even if it's not those same artists, trickle down to the artists that came from them. Mm. They notice he's in, he need help and he's in a bad place. So they notice he can't put out an album, but he damn sure can get paid if I ask him to do this damn this feature, and he damn mm. sure could be on TV if I shoot that. You mm. chose that feature as my single, mm. and he damn sure could still be in, in music if we do that. Wow. There's so many artists. That did that just because. And was just it because. really like yeah, that crazy, way? Like, um, yeah. like as an artist, though. as an artist who's been through that before, right? Um, mine was on a different level, obviously. But really, was it like that where you couldn't, where they were stopping you for putting out anything, or th or was it because all you wanted to do was put out the car to fly? Was nah, they were stopping anything. Hey, wow, wow. And that's, this is from the higher ups. This is from everything. I don't know where it was coming okay. from. I couldn't push it out. I okay. know that much. Right. Yeah. All right. And then it finally gets worked out. Everything get worked out through time. You know, time heals all. Yeah. Time heals all, and time start building. Mm -hmm. That number start growing. Mm -hmm. And you, at some point, it's gonna clash, and huh. everything happens for a reason. Huh. And so I'm gonna make the most of it. As, for, as soon as I was waiting for it to happen, as soon as it happened, I was gonna take advantage of it. And huh. once it did, I have, and now I'm in a position that I've always ever wanted to be in, and that's running. I run everything. Mm. You know, I make it rain. I tell it when I, I form the clouds around this motherfucker. I'll tell you yeah. a funny story, boy. One night we was in the hit factory, and this is before anything ever. And um, I forget, what was, what was the quarterback that went from... Um, Denver to the coast, to the coast of Denver. Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning. All right, I'll tell you though, this is a, this is a, so this is when everyone is signing the cash. Shout out Peyton Manning from New Orleans. <laughs> everyone is signing the cash money. Everyone is in Hit Factory, right? I think it's like Scott Storch. I think, I think Fat Joe Scott, was trying. Yeah, Scott to, love. But Fat Joe was trying to sign the um, cash money. I think Buster Rhymes is over there. I think, um, see, this is just a session. This is just a session. We're just in it. And you walked out, he said, he said, man, I might do the Peyton Manning on niggas. <laughs> and then you walked away. I'm not gonna lie, you had the whole room straight. <laughs> Everybody sitting there. Talking about, 
yo, we're gonna get my cash money. You're gonna go to cash money. And you just walked out and just said, I don't know why you said it. I don't know what you meant by it. Because I wouldn't have to say, who the fuck is Peyton Manning? <laughs> Silk up that place in a way, because you know, this was the hottest time. I don't know if you realize, cash money was like death row, bad boy, Rockefeller, and Rough Riders together so had a baby on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> South and just high, and 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 I got to I got to hear the greatest. I don't know. I've never been in these studio sessions, but I got to hear the greatest rapper. And, and you just said that, and it was just like this was the illest shit I've ever heard. And like this, this is the power that you 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 had. Thank you. you have. Thank you. Yes, man. I didn't know what I meant. I don't know what I, I meant. What you meant. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know other stories about Peyton, so I could have probably meant to miss something else, even from New Orleans. So yeah, no, it's just one story that. I always go back to about Peyton, so I'm not sure if I meant that too. Right, right. Yeah, but I probably meant what you said too. Right. Yeah. Because another thing Jay told me was that was like, like he 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 just met with you generically, and then he he called Birdman, and when he called Birdman to say he met with you, yeah. that Birdman called him. What lawyers and him and Birdman's relationship has not been the same since. Mm -hmm. So, um, is that something you knew about? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Nah. Yeah. All I know, what I did know is that the homie, you know, he would keep it, you know, his main focus, his main goal was, right. ma again, making Just, sure I was yeah. good. Yeah, that was, that you know was I mean? Making like sure I was good. Yeah. So, with that said, when it came to, you know, he would just use, he would just, you know, let me know that I'm going through some things. We're right. trying to get it to, we're trying to get it to be official. Right. We're trying to get, you know, trying to get you over here, trying to get it to be right. But I'm going through some things over there. It's not, it's not easy. Right. It's not easy. But I'm going to go through every loop I got to go through to make sure you're okay. Because right. yeah. using sports examples, if mm -hmm. you know your quarterback is going to, you know, yeah. I would, like, I see where baby was coming from. Like, it, it's different, but like, you know, Wayne, maybe not a little happy right now, and he going to meet with Hove. Yeah. Yeah. That's Bill Belichick from niggas. <laughs> like, I don't want that. <laughs> like, to the, to the, now that you think about it, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, that was, I ain't gonna lie, that, that was like, that's some deep shit. That yeah. was some deep shit, but yeah. you got two of the, how did that feel, like, when you had? I don't think I was, I was more focused on getting right. Mm. Yeah, I was more focused on getting myself together. Mm. Yeah, I mean, getting shit right. And when you work like I work, right. and when, you know, you, you expect, you expect nothing to fall. Right. You know what I mean? You expect everything to go as procedure as it can. You wake up every day at the same time. You work the, you work as many hours as you're going to work. And, you, and you, all you know is that it works. Right. All you know is that everyone around this bitch is smiling and eating. When everything goes down and you, it's hard to, it's, it, you know what I mean? It's hard to make a person like me Ooh. that all I do is work. It's hard to make me, to stop me and slow down and say nothing. Not, it's not, I try to embrace everything that just happened. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like I, when I'm just, I'm, you know what? I know that just happened. I know that's fucked up, but I'm still about to work. Right. And I'm that guy. So I think I worked through it all. And so I had, there was, there was no time for me to have an emotion about, mm. man, I can't believe I got this guy or talking to this guy. Mm. I was not, I, it was a noun. I probably didn't even see who it was I was talking to. Right. You know what I mean? If you ain't the next song, move right. on. Yeah. But now you running your own motherfucking shit. God damn it, mama. <laughs> Thing. That's a beautiful blessing, man. And you know what? You deserve it. Everything. Thank you, man. Like you, and, and, and continue it. So the thing is this. One of our records we was also on, right? I believe um, was Grinding Remix. Okay. Clips. Clips. Yeah. And 
I don't know where this relationship went wrong. Did it? Did I don't need it, bro. Get out of here. I swear to oh, God. With clips? Yeah. Uh, well, well I specifically push, push it. Push yeah. It. yeah. I, don't, I swear to God, I right. don't. Word. I don't know. I think I don't. I just found out, like you know, it was like uh, one of them. Uh, you ever see when the, when the uh, athletes uh, get traded and don't know, and he get and he get right. told he get told during the press conference, and, and he's like, like lost. so how do you feel yeah. that they trade that that Houston just traded you to Kansas City? Yeah. Yeah. Talking about like, uh, excuse me one second go to the bitch cut the commercial real <laughs> fast and come back and have a proper 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 yeah. uh, answer so yeah so now that um, I spoke to my agent yeah, yeah. that yeah. I was like man he was like yeah man you know why you man what you gonna do you gonna come back and push I'm like what you mean I'm like, I'd love to do a song with him yeah. and they were like now nah, you know he, he dissing you now because particularly there's a record that came out with Rick Ross recently right yeah and Rick Ross supposedly put you and Pusher on the record. When the record comes out, um, the record is just you on there and there's no pushing T. So, I don't know what the rumor is, but in the industry, we always notice a, a clearance issue, maybe on this part. Obviously, you cleared your part. As always. Right. Yeah. So, do you think that it was on, on their side? I don't even know nothing about it. I heard it once, heard about that once. Right. That, so, that was random news to me because it was his joint. So, I wouldn't, joint. Yeah, I wouldn't know who he had on it anyway, right. or who he was supposed you to have on it. You don't ever ask those questions? Oh, no. Damn, Ray, you too much of a real nigga. We're going to start protecting you a little bit more. Nah. <laughs> Just, just the yeah, they sent me the joint. Right. Let me know what the subject is. If he may have, I think he may have had a hook on it already. It may have had a title to it already. So I just do my part. Because Ross' intentions was pure. Yeah, Ross is. I, I, yeah. I, I believe I know Ross long. No, he didn't mean nothing. But I don't yeah. think he meant anything by it. I'm but still on the, what, what did he do? No, but he had you and Pusher on the same record. So, but when the record came out, um, officially, it was just you on it. So if you people are trying to like you know figure out say why they why he didn't have the homie on that I'm not sure I don't, I don't even know the record I swear to God yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta live in Wayne's world for a little while my nigga <laughs> I, love, I love the world you live in for real <laughs> you that nigga really block out society. <laughs> You know what? And I love the way you live in your own world. Because you know what? People that mind their own business don't ever start no shit. I ain't no shit start at You know what I'm saying? So you know if a nigga fucking with Wayne, you know he fucking. Because Wayne is in his own goddamn world, man. We burning sage and we living good, drinking bomb. I'm going to make sure I make this, pronounce this shit right. Bomb bull. Yes. Bomb bull. I'm drinking bomb bull all motherfucking night. We I hate house and, of and Mac. And I hate when the, uh, I'm, uh, I'm fucking with him with this. You fucking with him? I hate when you get the, the bitch after the club, the drunk mm. bitch like, oh, that's your drink. I love it. It's boo boo. Uh. Boo boo. Or some drunk bitch. Let me get some of that bamboo. Yeah. Bitch ain't no bamboo in here. <laughs> that's good. I hate that shit. I hate that. Let's, let's get on that too, man. Thank you. Every other week at one point, you was knocking every bitch down. I'm gonna keep it real. <laughs> you you had a song, I wish I got fuck and me, girl. I think you 95% complete. <laughs> I think you 95% complete. I'm gonna be honest. In my mind, 95. 95. 95. 95. 97 right now. <laughs> I haven't been paying attention for a while. I'm gonna for you. I'm gonna be honest. You like your jersey's hung up or no? You still like, <laughs> your jersey's still floating around. You still doing your world tour like Kobe Bryant? <laughs> you gotta do a Kobe Bryant last world tour. It's not anything down. Like, like bowling balls a little way. <laughs> <laughs> but Wayne, I ain't gonna lie, I'm very proud of you. 
uh, of that you. world as well. Thank like, you. In that world as well. Come on, let's be clear, man. Let's be clear. A lot of niggas ain't been with Wayne as man, bro. For real. I'm a lover, not a liker. Man. Yeah, you're a lover, not a liker. I, I mean, don't know what that means, but it sounds great. <laughs> So I'm, I don't even like him. But you, 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 you've been through a lot. It's a problem, actually. And you yeah. just learned how to DM. I seen a, um, a somewhere. I'm, what, you just learned it? Think, no. Who cool this man? Because <laughs> I get too fucking, I get argued all day, but you know, but I get, that's an argument all the time. Like, I DM'd you. Yeah. Like, bitch, I just learned. <laughs> Man. I see the man interview. He just learned how to deal. Yes. But yeah, yo, you gonna you gonna keep striking. You gonna keep striking. <laughs> <laughs> now you need to learn the DM now. I, I don't know, but for my niggas, for my niggas, they I'm be good. telling me how they do it on the DM. I don't know how to deal. Yeah, he. But I'm good now. Nah. I, 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 I'm dealing a couple of dudes for an interview. Because you know, I mean, <laughs> Sleeps in that jersey every okay, night. Okay, you Wifey okay. sleeps in that jersey. Okay, yes, okay, yes. okay. Oh, so your jersey is hung up. She's sleeping in it. Yeah. She, 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 you know you got your jersey 52 states, though. <laughs> you know, you got you got All right, listen, I'm sorry. You said wifey? I thought you said girlfriend. <laughs> Respect your past, like you know. Yeah, all of us. Oh yeah, we are. Like oh, I, you know, we, we, since nineteen ninety eight. He's like, I got gotta two respect years. Your past is where we come from. Nineteen ninety eight, two thousand and one, finished. <laughs> finished. Finished. Had a crazy year. Crazy year. <laughs> MVP four years. <laughs> nigga, did my knees, <laughs> did my knees buckle? <laughs> He's a bad motherfucker. He, 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 he has that red shit. That red, he red, nigga, huh? He went with that when he got up over me. I mean, he got up over me. No, 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 no. I'm telling you. Because he got, see, see, he got the red and he got the singing. The singing. See that right there? That, mm. And then you throw the rap in it. Mm. And you know, and you know, but he got he got a few. He got he's a Canadian too. He's, he's very oh, nice. Oh, don't do it. I don't even bring nice. that very in. Very nice. Too. Very nice. So you know, but I got I got that too. I got the Southern Hospitality so yeah, very nice too uh, as well. So I, I went with you that. Like you're, I'm like on front. You look like you're a rose, like like a rose, like rose I will go, nigga. I will go pick that motherfucker. Yeah, I could tell yes, you a romantic. I will go pick like, that motherfucker. Tell. Show her the blood yeah. from the thorns. Wait, blood? I will show her the she blood from the thorns. And, say, yeah, girl got crazy. Yes, okay, so right. I will blood give it. Blood from picking yes, the thorns. Okay, yes. right, cool. All right. Damn, Wayne. All right. All right. Yeah, mom. I was born. I was raised. By my mom, mm. yeah, she taught me you gotta go the whole nine plus more for a woman, mm. for your woman if you if so, she matters. So a Valentine's Day is coming up. What is Little Wayne doing for Valentine's Day? I don't want her to know yet. Mm. You know, Martin Lawrence got a tour in um, North Carolina, South Carolina. In case you want to catch the Pride plane, I got the got the fuel. Okay, I, I hit you. Yeah. The fuel. Yeah, That's the fuel. it. That's all you yeah. have. <laughs> uh, uh, hold up, let me ride with you. Let me let this man. <laughs> With that said, now, nah, with that said, uh -huh. that is the that is the most exp that is what you pay the for. Most expensive. Like, I, I don't that fuck man, up. No. <laughs> that, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. That's right. If he said he got the fuel, we going. You ain't you ain't you ain't you ain't you ain't Let's go, because that's what costs the most, man. The fucking fuel, boy. Now, is that, is that so dope when you think about it? You like, you from, you know, New Orleans was at one point the murder capital. Mm -hmm. Sometimes still is, right? Like every other day it changes, right? That's what, like, that's what we got cash money, a lot of that's where the cash money come from that right, year. Right, and the, the world, like, one of, like, it, it's some world, some worst environments in America mm -hmm. at one point. Yeah. And for you it's to come from that. It's changed a lot, yeah. They got gentrification, they got Starbucks and shit? Yeah. Why? 
Yeah. Last time I, you know, one time I went to New Orleans, y'all niggas barely had McDonald's. Yeah, no. In certain places, I like Jesus. But you had churches. Yeah, we I got churches, but we got Popeyes. See, Popeyes was originating in, in New Orleans. Mm. And let me make that story clear, because a lot of people think Popeyes was is just some general fast Louisiana? food place. And they don't know. They think that we just put the, the word Louisiana on there for nothing. Let, so me legit. Give you, let me give you history. Al Copeland was an orphan. He's a white guy. He's passed. Rest in peace. His name is Al Copeland. He was an orphan, and in that house that he was raised, it was an old black woman, and he was it was a house full of kids. He was an orphan, so right. he would be the only kid that would sit in the kitchen and watch her fry chicken when it was dinner time, and that's how he came up with Popeyes. Mm. My mom was that was my mom's one of her first jobs. My mom's a chef. Wow. <laughs> It's up. It's it's up. Yeah, so my chef made Damn. it. My chef made it for me, and that's how rich you is. You ain't even go out to get that your own. You I like, got the. I got you know, went out and got it, and then the chef. I noticed that chef put it on the menu a few times, and I was like, "Is this what chef trying to say?" It? And so I picked it one day. Okay, wait. I and it was the same so thing, and it was awesome. Menu in the crib. We have a lot. Right, no, this, I get text the menu every night. <laughs> <laughs> Was a single nigga forever, like you know. Uh, but no, no, no. But you, you enjoy, I enjoy it. Yes, I, I like do. that, man. Yeah. I like that. I want to, cause you, and you, you know, wedding vow, not yet. Like, I'm like, eventually in the future, I can feel like you like want to be a wedding nigga. Like, you gonna have. I like, definitely want to be a wedding nigga in the future. Yes, I want to. I'm gonna run down that motherfucker when I'm gonna run down that aisle. In my I second marriage, chance. like I'm with Kevin Hart. If it don't work, it's me this time. Oh. It's me. So I got to be very careful. So. <laughs> It could be me. It's my second marriage. I'm gonna use that. I like that. Yeah, yeah. What, what, you gotta make I'm it gonna work use that much. mentally. I'm gonna yeah, use mentally. that mentally. You know what, bro? If it don't work this time, it's your ass. Yeah, you ain't seen Kevin Hart shit neither. Nah. Damn, Wayne. We gotta get you on Netflix or something. <laughs> <laughs> you just watch sports. That's it. Yeah. yeah I, can really I tell. watch National Geographic and Discovery. You know what too. I watch a lot? I've been watching uh, the uh, History Channel because it been it, it just starts showing World War Two in color. Mm. Ooh, yeah, that's so a good one. I've been watching that shit that heavy. Yeah, <laughs> heavy, dope. heavy. Yeah, World War Two in color. It is awesome. Yeah. Right. So what I mean by that is, they, you know, every war they have to the soldiers. There's there's one or two soldiers, uh, at least more, that's filming. Yeah. Like they get trained the whole shit, like they train to kill and all that. But they their job the is to go film. to war on the battlefield and just film that yeah. shit. Mm. They finally they finally released all that footage, my nigga, yeah. my nigga. Yeah, those are the real camera niggas. My nigga, I'm talking about you just watching the camera all of a sudden that bitch just go boom and you just see the sky. Oh. <laughs> you see the sky, that nigga dead. Nah, that shit, that shit's that shit's that what all that? What camera B? Camera B. That nigga. <laughs> I'll be into. So what you love more, performing or making the music? Making the music. Get the fuck out of here. I see you perform. I thought you. You I can't would've... take not perform. What that said, performance to me on a scale of one to ten is a hundred. So it's still both of them. You know, I started off with performance. That's how I started doing this whole thing, performing, dressing up as Michael Jackson and for my grandmother and her friends. Wow. Yeah, they just drunk in the living room. They want some entertainment. <laughs> I'm about to put that wig on and come up there and tear that fucking living room up. Mm. Yeah. What? Yeah. So I got tired of so I got tired of rapping other people's stuff. Mm. You know, when it's time to do the little performances for everybody, I got tired of saying a song that you heard already. Mm. And that's what made me finally go to the you know, that day, one of those days, I'm the next time I go out there, I'm gonna say my own stuff and see what happens. And I did and it worked. And so mm. that's when I, I kept wow. at it, yeah. Now drop it like it's hot and bling bling. Got to be in like the hip hop dictionary. Yes, it did. 
Bling Bling first. Bling Bling. Shout out Magnolia Shorty, rest in peace. That was a female artist for Cash Money. She she helped me come up with that one. And the, the name of the line was Tell Me What Kind of Nigga Got Diamonds That'll Blind You. So I always rap my verse to, to somebody first before I do it. I rapped it to her. She was like, that shit cool, but you need to do one of them little sound effects you do. You know, like Missy. You know, that's my favorite artist. And so wow. she was like, she was Missy's like, your favorite artist? Yeah. Wow. And she was like, you need to do one of like your fucking favorite artists. Do a little sound or something. I was like, I don't hear where would it come in at? I was like, tell me what kind of nigga got diamonds that are blind. She was like, what sound diamonds make? I was like, fuck, bling? She was like, tell me what kind of nigga got diamonds that are bling blind. Yeah. <laughs> and so I did that, and that's when, and that's when, uh, after, yeah. I, after I did that's that. Up. That's up. I did that Manny Fresh was like That's a hook You know It, was, it became just, It was. It started off Just that line in the song right. Manny Fresh was like That's a hook We need that He made me run it on the face Like I need a faster beat Wow And then he came back And it was bling bling Every time I come around It's like bling bling That's how it just started Did you Did you think Like the white people Would take that shit Fuck no <laughs> Talking about <laughs> yeah, I mean, what you, what yeah, you I was in Hawaii about? the other day. This shit said bling bling. I was like, what the fuck? These niggas don't even know who it is right now. What the fuck are these niggas walking? You know, but dude, that shit is humongous. Yes. No, it's, that's regular vocabulary. Holy yeah. holy yo. In all of America and the world. On t- I'm, I, I, like you said, on I watch his sports, and oh, yeah. when they, they say it as a regular word, yeah. you know, like and he got his bling on and his bling on. Right. No stopping, yeah. no laughing at what, yeah. he, what you just said. No, right. back then, you know, that's like Stuart Scott saying booyah you know we're gonna, you're gonna react to it right. they saying bling like like they like that's a regular word. so his right. bling to the left was on the tip I'm like yeah. wow that's a real word now. Yeah. Jeez Louise Papa Jesus make some noise for that guy I ain't gonna lie, I got notes, Greg. I'm sorry, man. I'm digging into my notes. Are oh, you good? Okay. Okay. Oh, also said it was his suggestion to put you on the Soldier remix. Let me quote him again. I'm sorry. This I, I don't know. This, I went to my notes this instead I don't of quoting. Let me go to his this shit. I don't know. Let me you hear didn't this. Know that? No, let me go to his shit. I'm going, I'm going to notes and shit like I'm a fucking journalist. I gotta relax. <laughs> Uh, he was messing with B then. I put him on Soldier, Beyonce Soldier song, right? When he was about to go fully, like he was about to go crazy. I understand. Whole language. <laughs> I remember her saying, Wayne, and I said, Yep, I, I trust me. It's gonna go. It was a all I can know. All I know can, that I can attest to at that time was whoever whoever's idea it was to put me on that. I know for a fact that it was a gamble for that. You know, for whoever. So whoever was in charge of that, I remember you know being told you know being told that kill us because this is a gamble for these. You know, they were they were destiny child. You know, and I remember being I remember being a little salty about it. I remember being like, because we watched it, we came up with them. Mm-hmm. They from Houston, mm-hmm. so be, right. yeah. yeah. So we can't. We've done shows with them when they wasn't no, you know, when they wasn't Destiny. We've had shows with them when it was the Hot Boys, high headlining that bitch. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Destiny wow. Child, these little four little girls from Houston. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I was like, damn, they blew up like that to where a nigga telling me, man, make sure you kill us because what I mean by gamble meaning there's certain features that I got. And that I got in my um, career that it was not a guarantee. You know, it was like, you know, you try maybe you do your do a verse on this and maybe you'll be the one to end up on this joint. Right. But they also thinking about putting such and such else on this joint too. So wow. that was but that was so long ago. Right. You know what no, I mean? I'm they don't do that. things like that now. But right. I, and that was one of those joints. Wow. That was one of those joints. I don't know if that's you how wasn't it was. for sure on the record. Yeah, right. it was like you know. So you better kill this because you know this is a, and if they do choose you, I even knew that this is a gamble for them. You know why? Why y'all even messing with a little Wayne? Right. You know I'm around this bitch talking about pussy and you know what I mean and and this and that. Y'all Destiny Child Beyonce about to be a Beyonce One of these days mm. You know what I mean right. and So it was a gamble And that shit worked Wow Yeah that shit worked We ended up on tour together God damn we got We got close to JG That's crazy man. Yeah it's hard I remember I was there 
I remember just the the, the the wardrobe for the video, all that was serious. Mm. All that was, you know, don't do too much, don't do too little, you know, all that was very serious, that shit. So it's, I never knew he had nothing to do with it. Yeah. All I knew was. So it was, it was the first time you hear of that. I swear to God, <laughs> I never knew that. All I knew was it was. You know, it, I was at that age. I was still kind of a a student um, uh, uh, to the game, and I was still kind of a. You know, you go left, go left. You, right. you tell me where to Wherever go. Wherever they told you to yeah, go, yeah, I was still that it. guy. You right. tell me. So that's this was handed to me on my. You know, hey, got this feature for you. It's called Soldier. You got Ti on here. <laughs> you know what I mean? And but it was also told to me, which I don't. Know if it was true, it was also told to me. So, it, like, we they, they trying to um, you guys. So it was like this was a test for me and him for the southern artists. Right. That's what it was being told oh, to you me. Was like, thinking like you, this was you or T. No, no, me and him. Okay, and we was like, like thinking for the southern for like the features. Southern, yeah, uh-huh. not nah, gonna be some nah, other guys. Be, yeah, right. not is gonna be somebody you already expecting. That's right, gonna be right, a, right. A J. Uh, right. You know what I mean? Right. Be, so it was like you know you guys need to. I didn't. I knew not. I, we ain't know each other like that, but I already knew he gonna kill. This shit, yeah. I'm gonna kill my shit, and we gonna be on this fucking song, mm. and that's how it happened. God damn, this wow. is a great fucking story. Other artists and this shit, but I just felt I ain't gonna find. I went with your hoes. <laughs> I'm sorry, you good, man. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Good. I had, you know, what, what, what should I do? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the fuck. I, I ignored a lot of these other niggas once he answered. I said, fuck it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but it's real shit. It's real shit. But I just want you to know how much you revered about our generation, our culture, because, uh, like I said, I tell you, I tell you a crazy story one night. One night, um, and it's got nothing to do with this interview, but it, it has everything to do with it. Is one night I'm in LA and I'm just, you know, I'm just by myself. And Kid Cudi hits me and was like, "Yo, can you come with me to a show?" I was like, no problem. So I go to him on the show, and I didn't think these kids would appreciate me at all. And what I didn't know is, you know, like, these, these kids is guards to Pharrell. And they actually did know that I have something to do with Pharrell. So when I came on the stage with Kid Cudi, these kids went crazy. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, I just never knew, like, these, these other audiences. So my question to you is, like, when you start going to the rock and roll route, were you, it, was it like a, like was it something that you was you said you were confident this whole time, mm-hmm. but but still like you know you start rock you know the, the shiny belts it was start, it was certain mm-hmm. things you started to rock the earrings right here yeah. the goals you know in a different way yeah. was that something that you was like you know what my hip hop audience might turn their back on me I remember you was doing like a Blink One Eighty Two and I just came off tour I think even Limp Bizkit had mm-hmm. signed and you know, all that. Mm-hmm. Was that something like you was elite, a little bit worried or you was, you know, I know you said the confidence, but still, like, it's got to be a part of us to say, you know what, you know, the true hip hop core. You know, the, the the thing about that, when I did that, the thing that mattered the most was the people around me, my friends. Mm-hmm. You know, they showed, they showed lack of interest in it. Yeah. Okay. My wow. friends. They lack of interest. Lack of interest. Yeah. In like it. my friends did when I did reggae thong, so I relate. <laughs> <laughs> they show, you know, like you know, my my friends, you know, they won't hear everything I do. You know, they, when I come there, when they hear, he and they already know they won't hear what you right. did. Like, what's the last thing you done? What's the last? Let me hear that shit. And when they start noticing that it's this, you know, what I mean, that it's this rock shit, and. You, all that died. All that. Let me hear the last thing you did. Let me hear. You know what I mean? And then when I play it for him, you know, niggas like that, that shit. Dope, did you leave a Blink eighty one of these who tours? Or something I, like that? I just left. I just came off of it. Oh, yeah. Word? Yeah. Blink one eighty two. Okay. You finished it? Or yeah. You, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I finished okay. it. Yeah. That okay. was a rumor, man. I was, okay. I, uh, they had said that I went on stage and said I'm not used to this crowd. I'm not. I don't. I'm not. I had said I'm not used to opening, coming out um, this early and <sighs> watching people still file in wow. as I'm performing. Uh, That's what I fucking said. Everybody <laughs> and I saw the rumor. Came out, I said, I said, I'm not used to a, a rock and roll crowd. No, nigga, I'm not used to coming out this fucking early. And motherfuckers <laughs> is just coming. Niggas is still sitting down while I'm not. You gonna hold it? We gonna come out? We gonna set this shit back later or something? Right? And that's what happened. I start going out later. Well, anytime you got a rumor that you want to straighten out, you can come right here. This is your house. <laughs> this is your. Yeah. You want to? 
I just want you to know Anytime you want to do this This is your house This is your home And uh, we, You're appreciative here Thank You know you, what man. I'm saying um, Because it's real talk it's And like, we down the street just, Yeah we down right the street there. And we used to work Right across the street from you We heard you yeah, have We the across the street from you We ain't going to say We ain't blow it up where Because we know You know what I'm saying But we were the street Yeah we were right across the street Right across the street Yeah we never been You know we always been in Miami Yeah we always been in Miami Yeah we always been in Miami Fourteen years too. Yeah, yeah. Hey, and I never left. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, but um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm. You know all this yeah. to the core, but your second home. Is oh, Miami. definitely, definitely. I'm New York to the motherfucking core. You ain't to the tell me. Person. You already know. But I'm a Miami man. If you want to catch me, do I? The winter stops. Hey, I listen. still go back home. Hey, I go back. Relax. But during the winter, I cannot do it. I don't want to be cold no more. I think I worked enough to not be cold. I, right? I appreciate that. I, I, can, I, can, I agree with that. Do no one yes. get cold in the winter? No. No, right? It yeah. gets cool. You know, cool, like to us in New Orleans, you know, also, we, we like Miami, we used to our damn weather. Mm. And so, you know, once it hit fucking 72 out here, we like, oh, it's fucking freezing. Yeah, yeah. In New Orleans, yeah, I mean. once it get like 40, we like, man, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, because 32, 30, 30, 32 degrees is freezing. Yeah. Okay, what's going on? Yeah, all right. Fuck, like clapping over there, guys. <laughs> Y'all not happy to see each other like that. Crushing weed. Crushing, crushing weed. That ain't gonna front. That sound like gun crushing weed. I ain't know that. <laughs> you crushing, you crushing glass. And yeah, 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 but yeah. But so, so yeah, I'm not. I'm but by me traveling everywhere. I'm used to different, you know. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I also I understand what you mean. Sometimes mm-hmm. we didn't did too much to be dealing with the elements, man. We gotta deal with comfort, That's comfort right. zone. That's as long right, as we still get it in. Yeah, and we work hard. Yeah, but like you, what I was saying was, uh, once that shit came out, and once I start going, once I hit a tour, mm-hmm. and my friends got to see that shit in front of them, mm-hmm. and see, wow. He's created another fucking world right. And what happened was I had You know I bought all my skaters On tour with me And mm. my whole set Was a tour a skate park My whole tour stayed So once they got to see that shit And got to see that Wow he packing this bitch Every night And guess what It's them folks In here every night They ain't here to hear That motherfucker Whatever to hear him scream right. Whatever the hell He better come out here And do They screaming it Right back at him mm. So to show them Mattered a lot to me To show my friends That you know I understand Understand, it ain't your wave, but just know that whatever wave I form, you better get on that motherfucker with me because it's gonna end up being a title. Mm. Got that, make some noise. Got that. As a fan, I, you know, you know, Kanye West got Sunday service. I don't know that what. Kanye West got Sunday service. Like when he goes out, he does church. Yeah, he does like a, a church Sunday. thing now. Like so I thought of Little Wayne to have skate park Saturdays. Okay. I want in on this Wayne. Okay. All right, so skate park Saturdays, you go everywhere, and you you just take your crowd or audience. They skate park and my mind, I don't know why. They got popcorn and candy cane. What is this shit? Candy, cotton candy. candy. Cotton candy. Cotton candy. And you got your fans, they come out, skate park Saturdays, wang, Louisiana, it's going fucking lit. <laughs> Everywhere, they get to skate with wang. Any, any park. This is why people come to Sunday service, they love the Lord, they love the Jesus, well, but they he, he want to hang out. a certain spot. Yeah. No, he does it anywhere he's, he wants he's to. He's moving around now, yeah. Yeah, but we're going we gonna to set it off. You want Tommy Hawk? He really be, he really it's be. It's not Tommy Hawk, it's Tony Hawk. Tony, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm just Tony's, like, Tony's like, Yeah, Bert. me and Tony. He's me and Tony. Bert. He, he's he's Kate Bert. He's, he's gay vertical I skate street Two You know Mark days. Gonzalez? Yes. That was my favorite skater yeah, I, was home, I was a skater yeah. when I was a kid Yeah Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, Mark okay. Gonzalez is my favorite He's a street Mark skater Mark is a motherfucking dog Where are we going with this? Hold on <laughs> Yeah, Marcus is the man, bro. I'm gonna roll with you because Wayne got 
you back. Hey, yeah. OG too. Yeah, Let me I just, just tell you, you guy. how rich Rain is. Look at this nigga. Look at this nigga Roach. This nigga Roach <laughs> is a nigga whole. This, I know a nigga like Boris can roll three blunts out of this train. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, that's my man. Big up to Boris, man. Make some noise for Boris. Yeah. So it's, it's like, I, and I, you know, I know I'm bouncing around, but you know, this is when I Google you at age 12. Like, you actually shot yourself? Like, yeah. What the hell? What, what's going on? <laughs> like, is it that bad that even at 12? <laughs> at 12 you know, that Who's that bad? I mean, New Orleans. Like, no, no, like, no, no. How no, did you no. find it's a gun that at 12? Wait. It's that bad, but nah. Yeah. It was that bad. It's okay. better now. Right. Yeah. And they were saying you're trying to commit suicide. I don't think you're trying to commit suicide. You was playing with the gun? In my mind. I was playing with the gun. Okay. I was doing the wrong thing, tripping. Okay. I was listening to Biggie. Biggie. And I was looking through a mirror. Fuck. So Biggie was on. The TV was behind me. I'm looking at trying to look at Biggie through the mirror. That nigga said, baby, baby, baby that's the song. That was the video that was on. What? Baby, baby. That's all I remember the last baby, words he said. Baby. Yeah. Baby, oh, baby. Yeah. That's, that's the last thing I remember him saying. You tell yourself to one more chance? Yeah. Damn, you can't be doing that. Yeah, that's, that's the one so with the scene. Yeah, that nigga a clown. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He said, God, that makes sense. One more chance. I don't know if you know Listen, Wayne, we celebrate your life because I'm gonna be honest, you are a goat for real. In Thank real you, time. Thank you. Like in real time. Like I've been, I was you for four years, and you know what the crazy shit is? You never told me no. Matt May has never told me no, and you guys have never lied to me. I like you know, people from the industry, I really respect that. You know what I mean? Because I'm used to being lied to. Like that's, that's when I meet people, I'm like, yo, all right, cool, you're gonna lie to me four times. And, and you know, I might give you one or two. You know what I mean? <laughs> And that's how it is. But when you got people that you know that you fuck with, like, I remember, like, I, 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 I'm jumping all over the place, but even when you said, um, you did a record with Jay-Z and you did, um, uh, I think it was called Hello Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. And your opening line was, Hello Brooklyn, what's your story? Mm -hmm. She said she on the run eating, but she ain't nori. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I used to be in the club at that fuck. <laughs> Yeah, that was a verse with that said. That was a mixtape verse that he just, he said, fuck that, we making this bitch about to be my single. A word? Yeah. That was the verse that was out already? Yeah. Man, Hope was on it like that. Yeah. Okay. All right, Hope, we on your ass. All right, come on, come on. Where, you, where you supposed to be popping this? Come on, man. You know, you know you're working too hard when you do a Dominican's job. <laughs> come on, God damn, because Dominicans do every job. So, wow, I didn't know that. So, listen, I, I'm be honest, Wayne. You kept me hot. You didn't know that. I was like, oh shit, promoter, like, yeah, that. She wanna buy Ian Bush in. You were the hottest nigga in the game at the time. You had no reason to shot me up. Uh oh. Bro, you tripping. Then, this like, nigga bro. do a joint, believe me. Mm -hmm. Nigga said, who's the cream cream? Is that so I was a polar I can't tell you how much bottles I popped to that record right there, my nigga. I would be in the club then. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. part to be like, let's talk. We can't relate to that exactly because you're not a rap legend. Mm -hmm. You gotta relax. This is what separates us. I'm not a journalist neither. I am just an entertainer. Slash rap fucking legend. God damn it. <laughs> nah, but for real, Wayne, I'm gonna be honest, like, uh, I, you know, we're sports analogists, uh, uh, um, people. And I can remember, like, you know, like I said, you was a little guy, so you were going from, like, from one year, what is it, uh, most improved player mm -hmm. to MVP mm -hmm. in, in that same, most people don't do that. Mm -hmm. Like, they go from, like, and for you to do that, and then the transition to where you transition to, and... 
I guess I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit crazy, but what, what is the most person that was a fan of you that you 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 couldn't you couldn't comprehend? Like somebody that said, "Yo, I'm a, I'm a little Wayne fan," and you looking like, "Oh shit, John Travolta, you gotta relax." Um, I got that person for you. Um, it's my man. Uh, I think I think it's my man's. I don't want to get. His, I don't want to make sure we don't put this part on there because I would hate to hate to get this man name wrong. What's, what's my man from YouTube? Oh, and from not from the Stones. Rolling Stones? Yeah. Big Jagger? No, we, nah. we got Googles all over the place. Mahano? Yeah. Yeah, he oh, wrote, YouTube. Yeah, he wrote. So um, we was at a hotel or something. He left, you know, the hotel paper yeah. that next to your bed. He gave me a copy of a, a album or something like. And he signed the album or some shit, but he put in there that he wrote next to it and it said, "We've been in the same place in the same city in the same hotel now, or something like that." Um, more than once, I have to. Um, I just want to say something. Like, I have to meet you. I'm a huge fan. Blah 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 blah. And he was like, "This is." Like basically left that sign. I didn't meet you again this time, but after meeting, I was like, "Who is this from again?" And they showed me. I was like, "You gotta be fucking kidding." Bono. Yeah, I was like, "That man don't know who the fuck I am." I was like, "That man don't know who the fuck. That man don't know I, I exist." <laughs> that was a. It was nothing going on for him to. You know, it wasn't nothing like some big Lil Wayne tour. No, it wasn't like. Still so he, not. Nah, he literally just left that on the hotel, and for me to get it, for like he must have heard that I was gonna be there. Wow. And he that's left that shit on the hotel. Like, hey, yeah, that's crazy, crazy man. man. Let's make some noise for that right there. But, you know, I, I can go on for 15 hours, but let me let us just be clear. You're dropping a new album? Yeah. The funeral? Yeah. That means everybody's dying? <laughs> they dead already. Like, I'm, I'm in. Just tell me what I got to do. A tux? What am I going to the funeral with? <laughs> no. Regular shit. Can I come with a sweatsuit? I'm a sweatsuit nigga. Yeah, you but I, if, I, if I could, if I, you know, if I could, if you want me to dress up, I'll nah, dress up. How am I going to the funeral? The funeral is just, you know... It's just uh, We just playing off All these You know Playing off all this shit Like we always do you Playing off all this shit I've already dropped You got I've already dropped Rebirth So we going to the funeral And, and you know mm. We figure out What we got next After that But I always have Something behind it You know You yeah. know Eminem dropped Some shit Murdered by the numbers Last week uh, so now, funeral, y'all niggas is on the same path, y'all okay. crazy, okay. crazy lyrical, crazy biblical, biblical. So what can we expect from the funeral, though? Oh, man, don't it's not a compilation. No. This is a Wayne album? This is my album, yeah. This album. Uh, don't have no expectations, please, because I will definitely exceed every single one mm. of them. So don't just just listen to it. And, open-minded. And, and open-minded. Any features? Yeah, I have, a, I have some features. I think the features that I chose this time would be... Uh, Definitely chose people features that you wouldn't expect. Bono's on there? <laughs> no, I mean, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I had to try, I had to try, I had to try. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got one in the stash. Yeah, we got one in the stash, though. Good Bono. Yeah. Nice. Wow. They could just do it to the side. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly, that's hard. That must be the flyest alley you I ever saw. Yeah, we got one for real. Not yet, but you will use it on this one. Nah, I'm gonna keep it real for real. I forgot. Ain't no, ain't, ain't, oh, shit. There ain't no regulations for us not putting it on the funeral. For so, real, I, yeah, I, so I, I, that. Might, so I may have the homie on the funeral. Uh, yeah. One time for that. Uh, You know, I was like one of the first niggas saying slime. So I don't know if you know that. I know you. I know you know that. Yeah, I do know that. But the new yeah. name for slime is Yande. Yande. So, because you know, the Yande is a, a noun. You could be at the Yande. You could be doing the Yande, or you could be going to the Yande. So you figure smell that? That's it? the new slime. Yande. Gotcha. Yande. Yande. Yeah. 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 Now when people say slime Does that only mean gang? Because no. please We gotta stop that I don't think uh, so No because well, but Do you think that, that that happened Like when People Because uh, When we said slime Bottle said slime Then you, you got I, that slime Yeah I got it from I got it from uh, Y'all boys mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. It was yeah. your fault but then, 
I didn't know I didn't, I didn't, from you. And with that said, I had I didn't I, I knew y'all had there was no gang intentions. There was no all. gang intentions. And, you know, and um um Cam and them said it yeah. like he literally couldn't say a, say a sentence without it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that's why I really once I he just slamming all day. So, <laughs> so you, it's hard to you know then, you know L's L's about to slime me all day, Paul. So I'm just right. fucking slam, slam yeah. it is. Pick them niggas up. Pick up the Jewel. Pick up the Cam. Oh, pick up the Jim Jones. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody from Young Money, man. I want to big up for y'all for always showing me love. Now, I got to say, I got to ask this before we get up out of here. Um, young Doug, was there ever, like, was it, you, you think there was a misunderstanding in y'all thing? Because I don't, I don't, I don't think, I think that at the time where he, I think it was like he named his barter, what was it, barter? I think he named one of his albums like that. Yeah. I looked at it as just total respect, man. I don't know, right. you know, my mom always told me, you know, if they ain't talking about you, you ain't, you know, if they not, if you ain't talking, they ain't talking ain't about direct. you, ain't doing something right, yeah. Right. So, right. You know, shit, I, I didn't look at it as no, and also there was no dissing on there, you know, he yeah, didn't no. diss me at all, so I looked right. at it as all respect. Also, when I see the homie. You saw him before? A few times. Oh, okay, when that's, I, that's we, the part people don't know. Yeah, when we talk personally, he's yeah. is always, he have nothing but the same, the same, um, he have nothing but respect for me. That's what I'm going to say to you. He, before he say one word to me, the first thing he always let me know is how much he respect me and shit, right. and how much he, you know what I mean, how much he is a fan of my shit and shit. Right. Yeah, but I've had personal conversations with the homie before. That's beautiful, man. Yeah. That's beautiful. I don't want to give, I ain't want to give up too many features, but he may be on that too. God damn, man, make some fucking noise while I was breaking this news. <laughs> Yo, Wayne, let me just tell you something, man. Um, I really appreciate this. The reason why I appreciate this is because um, you're a real big figure. Like, you're, you're a really appreciate big that. figure. And it sets a precedence when you said, you know, you got an album coming out, Funeral, on uh, January 31st, correct? And um, you come to see black media, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what we quote unquote is right now, is, you know what I mean? We, but we hood media and we hip hop media, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the thing is, when, when you come to see us, it's, it's such a it's such a blessing. It's such a it's such a it's such a precedence that you know what we can control our own shit. Exactly. We don't have to go outside. Yeah. You know, big up to Ellen and big up to you know Trevor Noah and all of them. You know, we're great, great, great to see these guys exactly. as well. But when you come to drink champs first, it's just a precedence. Well, and guess what? Well. We love that. say this, I'm going to tell you off the, off the camera. Let me just tell you on camera. For real, man, you're one of the, uh, the biggest artists in hip-hop. You have changed the music not once, but twice, but three different times. You have survived, and you're going off damn near four decades. You're going to, you you will survive that, you. and you will be here, and you will be our generation, Michael Jackson, in, in the gangster way. You know what I'm saying? The gangster way, and not the other shit. You know, the, the real shit. You know, the greatest shit, you know. But, and that's, that's the biggest compliment, and I have really yes, looked at everybody's history. I really did. I really compared you to every other ghost. And the fact that how early you started to how you keep progressing, you might be the richest, and I'm talking about money, the most richest person in hip-hop history as far as you've been winning since then and you kept going and kept elevating the thing. And if anybody should say how they should market their career, how you did, I would want them to do it after you, my brother. And that's just a person who has been to it. I am Charles Barkley. I've been in there. I am Shaquille, let me say Shaquille O'Neal because I went platinum. Charles Barkley don't got a ring. That's my nigga though. That's my nigga though. All right, that's my nigga though. I love Charles. I love Charles. But you know, I'm I'm Kenny Smith too. I'm from Left Rack City. You know what I'm saying? I got rings. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm Vince Carter in my fourth decade. Mm -hmm. You got rings, nigga. You got rings. I'm proud to call you a colleague. I'm proud to call you a friend. And I'm proud to call you one of the greatest rappers alive. Thank you, man. I'm proud to say that to your face. You see, I ain't break no tear. I ain't not, I'm proud to say that. You Thank know what you. I mean? And the fact is, I was one of the like very first, especially for my city. And I'm gonna pick up Cormega too. Cormega was in there somewhere. Yes, he was. You know what I'm saying? I will yes. not. I will not take that from you, Cormega. You my brother. You know that. And and but I, I you know, I take a little. I take the pride a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Because you, I, you know, but. 
I really respect your career. I really respect what you did. And I will always um, drink champs. Uh, not only just Nori, but drink champs. We will always honor it. Whether you come here or not, we will always yep. big you up and we will always tell you how much you mean to this culture because you have changed it so many different times. And right now, you are the godfather of your culture. And you got to take responsibility of that. You got to start learning who this new guy <laughs> yeah, is and do. start knowing. So when you yeah. see them, you can get them like, they be like, yo, little Wayne, like, yeah, nigga, what up? Like, you got to be like, yo, what's up, little You got to be like, what's up, little exit? Like, I know you, little exit. Come here. You got to start knowing them. This is my man. Yeah, I know Mac Mays yeah. probably like, what's the reason? Exactly. Exactly. But Wayne, you deserve everything you get. We deserve what you love. Funeral, we're gonna make it go number one because yeah, yeah. we already know. Please. Man, yo, we really love you, Wayne. We're gonna take a drop. <laughs> <laughs>